flooding in. How is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Saturday chat? I have been gone. Bitch. I have been gone for a fucking week. How are y'all doing today? Oh my God. Are y'all doing great? Y'all doing fantastic? How have y'all been? It's been a week. It's fucking 2024 now. Happy New Year, by the way. Somebody said I was so bored. I'm taking the fattest shit right now. See, like that, like I didn't miss those chats. I didn't miss those chats. I missed y'all though. I missed y'all. I was missing streaming, dude. First three days, I was sick as shit. You know, we'll get into a story time. Last couple of days, I'm like, damn, man, I can't wait to fucking stream. It's been a while. I never take, well, not never. I take like three fucking breaks a year. And that was one of them, you know? Uh, somebody said, nah, real estate, you not streaming was so boring. <laughs> Y'all were that bored when I wasn't here? No fucking way. Yo, I appreciate that, though. I had some people, I had some people a little upset, right? Normally, I'm not really noticing if people, like, know whether or not I'm gone. But I was posting, obviously, I'm still posting on YouTube and shit uh, while I'm gone because I can pre-record content or whatever. But, uh, and, like, same thing with TikTok. But I'm posting it, and I was, I would, like, scroll through the comments. And people would be like, dude, where the fuck are you? <laughs> people would be like, man, it's been two days. Two days in. I was like, what the fuck? I take like one day a week off anyway. It's not abnormal for me to take two days off. But some of y'all are be like, bro, where are you? <laughs> where are you? It's three. Dude, you just posted on YouTube. I've been sitting in your chat for five hours. <laughs> like that's like a dog waiting for their owner to come home. That's just dead. Like the fuck? separation anxiety all right it's not separation anxiety Kara for the sub kaboom for the three you made my 2023 what's your favorite game ever minecraft all, all time but recently the finals kanoki uh clueless and pause for the sub Kara for the sub colby for the sub debbie for the three I haven't seen you in years stop aiden for the three on new year's i found uh out two of my closest friends stole 650 dollars from me and my closest friend and i don't know how to process it uh, get your bag back and tell them to fuck off. Vom, Don Quixote, Blanks, and Plushie for the sub Jolly for the three. I miss you so much. I sat in my room all day in the dark watching your VODs. Cutie, Becca, uh, Kai, Yoshifiko for the 31 month sub. Keaton for the sub. Lewis for the 10 gifted. Stub in the chat for that. Thank you for the 10 gifted, Lewis. A miss new Mr. Beast videos out? I know. We'll watch it today. I know. <laughs> I know. I missed the Mr. Beast video that came out a week ago. I was gone. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's been a week. I, we're, we're behind on a lot of reacts, a lot of gaming. You guys sent so many fucking suggestions while I was gone, by the way. W chat for uh, still sending video suggestions, game suggestions while I was gone. It helped me uh, grab some shit for uh, the new year. Uh, Baconator, Car, Puff, uh, Cheetah, Anthra, Static, Brock, Dree, Sasha, Boy, Shadow, Rachel, Pello, Noah, Quorms, Honor, Yug, uh, Couch, Hamsta, Why, It's Mercs, Bilbo, Tigger, Chief for the Sub, Maya for the 5k biddies. Thank you for being consistently supportive of the trans community. I'm four months into my medical transition. Your content helps through the hard stuff slash transphobia. W stream and streamer. Pronouns are she, her, by the way. Fucking Maya, thank you for the 5,000 biddies and the nice ass message. W by in the chat. Thank you for the fucking 5k biddies. And I'm glad that I can be supportive and help you. Thank you for the 5k biddies, though. Uh, David, Aiden, uh, Bongis, ASAP, It's Just Monet. Um... Swaggy, Amelia, Dominator, Mills in your area, Nash, Titan, RL, Russ, four for the sub. How many fucking individual subs are we going to goddamn have? Holy shit. Dub in the fucking chat. Kara, pause, clueless. Bun, Bunze for the fucking... For, is that 15 gifted? I don't even know how many that is. Bunze, thank you for the fucking gifted subs. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the fucking gifted. Philip for the five. Mr. Teams, they always made my day better. Glad you're back streaming. Does uh, a lot of good. Thank you. Monet for the three. We're actually doing a charity stream this Friday, by the way, chat. Dub for that. American Cancer Society. How to switch it up. Wanted to do heck, uh, head and, and neck cancer because uh, it's manuary. However, um, they're not on Tiltify. And Tiltify is like really the big application I use to like uh, help the charity stream sync with the stream. Uh, so we're doing American Cancer Society. Went a little more broad. Uh, Mr. Stone for the three. And we're going to do a, uh, another one later this month, probably for uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, 
That'll be like late January, though. Mr. Stone for the three. Are you ever going to play Last of Us 2? Probably. Drop it, Supreme Bodie for the sub. Is up for the five. Gift it's Kirby for the sub. Acer for the sub. Pop for the three. Have been here in a few months. How are you? Good. How are you? Free for the sub. TB, TD, TDB, uh, J Mage. Uh, Ryland for the sub. Trissy for the three. A Gamer, uh, Bar for the sub. Floating for the three. I woke up at 4 a.m. waiting for you to stream. I woke up at 4 waiting for you to stream. Why the fuck did you wait that long? Oh, it's 6 a.m. for you. I was going to say, I thought you woke up at 4 to wait for a 2 p.m. stream. My time. Uh, also, this is Iris Conlon. I don't know if you remember me. I remember that username. Uh, you changed your user. Uh, Bart, 7-inch duck. Logan, uh, Zephyr for the sub. Mikey for the five. Can I be unbanned? I didn't mean... Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Chat, I haven't even gotten into the stories, and I'm already having a motherfucker ask to get unbanned a week in. A week after my break. A week after my break. Mikey, what'd you do? You said I was on meth, and then you said you were two years old. And Juan Stock banned you. And you spammed that I missed your dono when you never said a dono. Unless it was a PayPal dono. Actually, I may be wrong. I'll unban you. That's not too bad. <laughs> Zephyr for the sub scoring quib. Keaton for the fucking 10 gifteds. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, Keaton. Skipper for the sub. Donnie for the three. Danger. Mr. Krabs for the sub. Trog for the sub. Logan for the three. Uh, JBDW, Andrew, Rosie for the sub. Hold up. Uh, Rachel for the three. It's snowing here in North Jersey. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it is snowing a little bit here. Mr. Krabs for the sub. Quick save for the three. It was a friend of mine's. Uh, it was my friend from Birth's birthday on the second. It would be sick if you said happy birthday, Noel. Happy birthday, Noel. Or is it Noel? Noel or Noel? Happy birthday. I don't know, uh, how you pronounce it. Mr. Krabs for the fucking subs. Nika for the three. Uh, do you think doing cardio seven times a week is healthy? Yeah, if you're not overdoing it. RQ for the sub team for the three. Please play Minecraft. That's this Monday. Noah, uh, or Nolan for the three. Uh, says glad you're back. Coffee Joe for the sub. The Nia stores Laura. Mr. Krabs, Conquistador. Logan for the sub. Ten Tentacos for the five. Chad, I need to get into the rants. What's with the fucking donos? I'm freaking the fuck out. Jacob for the three. When were you going to play Last of Us 2? I don't know, man. It's the Baskin. Uh, Joe, welcome back. I took your advice. Already hit Twitch affiliate. Fucking dub. Black, uh, Z Samoa, uh, AM for the sub, Sniffer for the sub, Austin J. Morrison, PDA for the sub, It's Asia for the sub, chat, fuck, okay, are we ready, I need to blow my nose, I've been sick, anybody else been sick recently, I feel like the whole United States has been sick, hold up, don't say ew, <coughs> you know how the last day I was here, I said chat, I said hey, I'm feeling a little sick, and even though I was gone for a week, I ended stream like 20 minutes early because my throat started hurting, right? And I said, I'm feeling a little sick, chat. Next day, chat, let me tell you, last fucking seven days, I've been blowing yellow snot. Yellow. Like, like when I say... Like that. Like that yellow. Anyway. Motherfucker. I didn't get to go skiing! Let me start, okay, this is going to be a long fucking rant for you. Let me just say this. At the first two days that I was sick, I did not sleep. So the start of my vacation, I couldn't sleep at all. My hair looks like shit. Somebody said W haircut. Stop. Anyways, I couldn't sleep. And so I'm getting prepared for this trip. And I have to drive four hours into the mountains to go skiing, which I didn't go. And I feel like shit. And this whole time, I'm like, I'm going to feel better tomorrow. I go to bed that night, the night before the trip. Could not sleep. I'm waking up. You know when you're so sick that like you can't sleep? Like your body wants to sleep, but you can't. Your nose is congested, your throat hurts, you're coughing. It's like you can't get in a relaxing state to where you're able to fall asleep. That was me, right? And so I couldn't go to bed. So I'm like, whatever. Next time I'm driving, right, and I'm blowing my nose, and we're getting higher and higher into the mountains. It's getting dry, right? I've been blowing my nose all day. We're about an hour away. We're around these windy roads, right? We're in a different state. I don't like how people drive outside of New Jersey uh, because I drive fast, right? I drive fast and dangerous. So 
when people are slow and uh, annoying, I get angry, right? And so I'm driving, right? I blow my nose and we're going down this hill. My nose starts bleeding bad, like falling out of like, like dripping down my face. Like it looks like somebody punched me in the nose. And I start shoving tissues up my nose. It's bleeding through them. It's dripping everywhere. Brooks to my right. I'm like getting pissed. I start screaming at the people in front of me. I'm like, I look like an insane person, right? I look like a fucking psychopath. And the Airbnb that we registered for, you can't just go to. You have to go to a front office, right? And I get out of the car when we get there. And I'm covered in blood. I look like I've killed somebody. And I'm about to go up to a security guard and ask for a pass to enter a neighborhood, right? And so I'm like, I'm like getting water bottles that have been in my car. You know how you leave a water bottle in your car for like six months and it gets all gross like that? I'm like, I'm like washing my face. People are staring at me. I walk in, I walk in and it's hot as a bitch. I look like, I look like I'm dying. I might add. Like, you know when you're so sick, you've been blowing your nose, it gets all red right here, and you're pale? I look like a ghost. Like, I look like, I look like that kid that's sick from, like, the Campbell Soup ads. Or from an ad. Like, like, sick, sick kid ad. Animated. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I can't find an image. <laughs> I look like that kid, right? Where it's like he's pale and he has a really red nose. And they're like, oh, you need whatever. And it's some stupid fucking toilet paper brand or some shit. And he has problems wiping his ass or whatever. It's like a tissue ad. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Tissue ad sick kid. This fucker. Oh, my God. I look like him. Hold up. I looked like this kid. I needed Puffs Plus, and I had fucking one-ply fucking toilet paper for tissues. Anyways, we get there, blah, blah, blah. I, I, get, the sh I get the badge or whatever they, for me to fucking get it into the goddamn Airbnb. Let me tell you, the worst Airbnb I have ever stayed at in my entire life. There were 10 of us, right? At this fucking, at this place. Three bedrooms. One of the bedrooms had six beds in it. And this is where the majority of the stories are going to be. In that bedroom, right? Because that bedroom was hell. I wasn't in that bedroom. I was in the bedroom with me, Brooke, and one of her friends, right? There were two beds. Me and Brooke got one. Friend got the other. That's key for what's about to happen, right? That night, I don't drink at all, right? Everybody's hammered. I'm like that one sober friend at a party. I'm like the DD, but I'm sick, right? And we're not going anywhere. We're just at the house. So I'm the DD that's just sitting there, right? And I'm, I'm bored, right? Like I'm not having a fun time, not because it's boring, but I'm sick and everyone else is drunk. <coughs> and so I like, I, I'm like, whatever, right? Well, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be fine tomorrow. And I try going to bed. I can't, right? I can't go to bed. And so I take NyQuil, right? Because I'm like, if I take NyQuil, this will knock me the fuck out. Surely, right? It doesn't. I take the NyQuil. It starts, I feel like I start hallucinating almost, right? Now, I may have taken more than the scheduled dose that they had told me to, but I was rocking off of two hours of sleep over a course of, like, a 24-hour period. And Brooke's friend is listening to a John Wayne Gacy documentary as I'm trying to fall asleep. If you don't know who John Wayne Gacy is, he is one of the most infamous serial killers that dressed... As a clown. And I, I'm, it's dead silent in the room, right? And all I'm listening to is people talk about how John Wayne Gacy would fucking strangle people 
and like fuck their dead bodies. And I can't sleep. I'm I'm sick and I'm off NyQuil. And I'm I'm like I'm like I start breathing, I start having a, like a fucking panic attack almost. <laughs> and so I'm like fuck this. And I and so I I'm, I fall asleep. And I start dreaming that John Wayne Gacy is trying to kill me. And so I wake up. And and then I don't go to bed for the rest of the night. Right? That was my sleep. <laughs> Next day. New Year's Eve, right? They go skiing. And I was supposed to go skiing. But I wake up and I go and a glob of snot comes out my nose. My throat hurts like a bitch. I still kind of been sick now, five days after this, after the fact, right? And so I'm like, whatever. I'm not going skiing. The whole point of the first trip, we're going skiing, right? I didn't go skiing. We only went skiing one day. I didn't go skiing. We go, like the group of people that didn't go skiing, because not everybody went. We're like, hey, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, right? Let's go get lunch at the ski lodge. We pull up to the ski lodge, right? I'm driving. We park, and we're like, let's hike to the top of the mountain. Because they have a hiking trail, and when you get to the top, there's a restaurant. <laughs> we get there, and it's closed! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! We get to the top! I haven't eaten all day, and they're they're not open. And I see snowboarders getting off the lift. I'm like, I'm a thousand feet in the fucking air right now, and I'm nowhere near getting food. Fuck this! So I run back and I sit in the car and wait. And the entire time back, there's a Russian family speaking Russian next to me. And all I wanted to know was what the fuck they were saying, because they kept looking at me. And I think they were talking about me. And so I'm like, fuck this. We go get food. Oh my god. Oh my god. I walk in. I walk in. I'm like, where's the cashier? The lady goes, oh, you just scan your card and grab whatever you want. I go, oh, how do they know what I have? She goes, there's the cameras. And there's like 45 cameras at, at this fucking store or some shit. So, like, like, you know how some things are like hyper advanced technology and you're like, why is this hyper advanced technology? That, it was one of those, right? Because instead of a, a cashier, they had a lady telling the people how this worked. And I was like, at this point, just fucking check people out. Like, what the fuck? But, like, apparently, you scan your card, you grab something, and then it charges you. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. I scan my card, it lets me in. I grab something. I'm like, no, nah, I don't really want that. I put it back. This bitch comes out of the fucking blue. This bitch comes out of the fucking clouds. And she says, you can't put that back. I went, what? She was like, you grabbed it. And you put it back. She was like, it's going to charge you. So I'm like, I'm not allowed to like, I'm not allowed to look at the food on whether or not I want it. And she's like, no, the system's going to charge you. She was like, hold up, I'll fix it. I'm like, and she's like, you got to put it back in the exact position and it won't. I was like, that's so fucking stupid. And she starts yelling at other people. I'm like, fuck this. Fuck this. You know why I think they implemented that shit too? Because the last year I was there, one of my friends stole a Gatorade. And so I don't. You know, I don't know if that's why they implemented that system, but I do remember last year my friend stole a Gatorade. So maybe that's, maybe that's, it was probably too easy for people to steal. So they were like, you know, let's fucking implement something where they can fucking uh, get, get, uh, get people's money easier. Anyways, uh, <coughs> we leave, we go back and I say to myself, I'm going to drink tonight, right? It's New Year's Eve, right? I'm going to drink tonight. I need I I need to drink tonight. Alcoholic mindset, right? I'm like it's New Year's Eve. I have to. 
And so I'm Googling whether or not I can take DayQuil and drink alcohol. <laughs> and, and every website's like liver failure, kidney damage, <laughs> death imminent. Like, mi do not, do not mix acetaminophen and alcohol. And then I ask, and then I'm like, I'm like reading this. And my EMT friend comes in and he goes, ah, just fucking take Tylenol. And I, <coughs> he's like, just fucking take Tylenol. I'm like, it says, I'm like, it says, and he's like, I don't give a shit. And I go, okay. So I listen to him, right? And he's probably, even though he's an EMT, I don't think he has the best medical advice in that realm. Um, so we, I take it, right? And I feel fine. I start drinking, right? You shaved? Yeah, I did shave my face. I probably shouldn't have because it's manuary. Anyways, I could just not shave the rest of the month. Listen. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, you want to see the snot? <laughs> no. It's not as yellow as it was. It used to be more yellow. All right, anyways. We start play playing this game that a lot of college students play. And we're all in college, so it's like, you know, everybody wants to play it. Hold up. One more. We start playing this game a lot of college students play. It's called Death Cup. Not Cup Pong. De Death Cup. Right? Uh, and it basically, here's how the game works. You have a cup in the middle and a bunch of cups around it. And then another cup, another bunch of rings, right? And in the first ring, you put a lot of light alcohol. In the second ring, you put something heavier. And in the middle ring, it's the death cup. And in the death cup is whatever the fuck you want to put in the death cup. Uh, usually people put like three shots of alcohol, four loco, and a beer or something like that. Like something really bad. And the premise of the game is that you have to stack the person to your right. You both play, you're both bouncing a ball into a cup. And if you get your ball into the cup before the person to your right does, you stack them and they drink, right? And you pass the cups around. There's a lot of other rules. Anyways, we start playing that. And some people suck at that fucking game. And if you suck at death cup, you are going to be hammered in five minutes, right? Because if you can't get it in on the first try, you are going to get stacked seven times in a row. Because when you get stacked... The person to your right goes, and if they st if they get a ball in first, they can pass it back to the person behind you, and you're not allowed to bounce the ball until you finish drinking. And so they can continuously just make you drink because you can't even play until you're done drinking. And so it's like a death loop, and it's kind of really unsafe, but a lot of people play it, and we played it. So we're playing. One of my friends gets really drunk, and he ate an edible before we played the game. And... You know, as the night's going on, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, ah, maybe you should stop playing the game. And he goes, yeah, and he sits down, and we start playing a card game, right? We're like, we're kind of done, and he, he, got his head, he has his head in his hands, and that's like a surefire sign to me that somebody's going to throw up, right? That that guy's going to throw up. If you're, sitting at, if you're sitting with a bunch of people, and you're like this, like, you're like trying to not vomit. And he's, like, burping. And I'm like, that's weird, right? So I'm like, you should probably go to the bathroom. He's like, yeah, he disappears, right, for, like, an hour. And then, like, four of the guys that got too drunk were asleep. And they're in that big room that I mentioned earlier. And we have this big JBL speaker. You know the one that's glow in the dark? And it, like, blat like it's, like, as loud as a fucking car speaker. I put it in their room. And I start playing this at full volume. <laughs> I start playing monster noises, and then I start playing, um, This. Like some Reese's Puffs remix. And then uh, shit like that. And um, my then one of my, the EMT guy walks up to me. 
because he's like one of the more responsible ones and he's like he's like bro i'm like what he's like he threw up the guy that was um had his head in his hands i'm like he's in the bedroom he didn't throw up in the bathroom and i told him to go. he's like no i go in and he's bro there's vomit all over the bed like everywhere it's disgusting and he's sleeping in it and i like move him over and i'm like <laughs> i tell him he's not he's not like blackout drunk he just threw up and i tell him we're, we're like we're not cleaning this up i was like this you got this tomorrow and he's like okay and he just goes back to bed and i kind of felt bad but i i wouldn't have played the music if i if i had known right and so we go to bed and oh and keep in mind i forgot to tell you how shitty this airbnb was the steps were broken if you stepped on the forefront of the step, it would rip out of the fucking boards and there would be exposed nails just upwards, like like a home alone trap where you could just step on it. And so like the steps were bro like a safety hazard. And this was like really dangerous when people were drunk. And I was like, I almost was like, we need to contact the Airbnb owner and be like, this is like, honestly, like, like how the fuck are you selling? Are you renting this out to people? When like this, it, this is like a safety hazard, a safety issue, whatever. Also the, the hot and cold on the shower was on backwards. And we just thought that there wasn't hot water for the first day. It was a whole fucking shebang. The heat didn't work. Ah, move on, moving on. Not as interesting. Next day rolls around, you know, we're chilling. I go kayaking. I'm feeling a bit better, right? People start drinking again. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm watching. I'm watching Mob Psycho. If y'all know that anime, people start drinking. I kind of, I kind of catch in. I'm like, all right, right. You know, we'll start drinking, right? We start putting four loco in. Old, old, the lightest alcohol in the Death Cup game was four loco, and that's what did me in. If you don't know what four loco is, it's like twelve. Per, it's like wine, the percentage of wine, but it's like people chug it, and so um, we're playing with that. And one of my friends just lays down and I'm like, y are you good? And this is my friend that like just blacks out on like two beers. Like I've seen him black out on two beers. And I'm like, I always tell him he has to drink less, but he goes, he only plays one game. He goes and lays down. I don't know when he drank that much, but he drank a lot. I wake, I, 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 like we're, we're playing, right? We're sitting there. I'm kind of laying down. I nod off for a second, right? 30, uh, 30 seconds. I wake up. And then we start playing a game again and we go into the room that he's in to check on him and he is pissing on the bed. Not like peeing himself, like stood up and is just pissing on the bed, like on the bed and just, and we're like, yo, like what's going on? And he starts speaking gibberish. And I'm like, oh, this is not, this is not good, right? Like, this is where, like, he's, he, he's not going to remember any of this, right? And he's gone. He's just peeing on the bed, right? He lays back, just pisses all over the bed. I wish I had the picture. I don't even know if I could show that. And so he's like, he's like a danger now where it's like, we don't know what he's going to do next. And so we're trying to, like, take care of him. He goes to the bathroom. He's fine. He lays back down. <laughs> they start asking him math questions. I start asking him math questions. I'm like, what's eight times seven? And he's like, 56, dumbass. And then he just starts talking about, like, the Illuminati. And, I <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And so he's getting, like, all these, like, mathematical questions, right? Like, I start asking him that. Not like basic like addition, like actual math problems. And he's getting them right. But then he's like, what's the meaning of five? And I'm like, what do you mean what's the meaning of five? And he's like, what's the meaning of five? And all this whole time, my other friend's like, dude, you know you peed on the bed, right? And he goes, dude, I didn't pee on the cookies. And I, it, and that's that's when I just tuned it out. But that, that ends, we watch a horror movie, we go to bed, blah, 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 that, that's, that's done. And then we go to a different Airbnb, me and Brooke, right? And this is a whole different, uh, different area, right? Like two hours away, right? And the first thing I notice is that everywhere in this area, 
has slot machines. This is an image of the grocery store. The gross, the grocery store. And people gamble at the grocery store. Who the fuck goes to the grocery store to gamble? I didn't know that was a thing, right? Is this is this normal in where you guys live? This is in Vegas, right? I was like, I would get it in Vegas. Yeah, you're at but I'm like, dude, every every bar, every fucking restaurant, they had one slot machine, right? Pennsylvania skill. Right? That's not skill. This is a fucking slot machine with some old western woman and you could probably win like $5. Anyways, I'm kind of taken back by that because I didn't I didn't expect that, right? Um but that was like on the way to the Airbnb. Hold up. I wrote about uh, down a bunch of stories that I wanted to tell you. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, before we went there, we went to an IHOP and I almost somebody got, I, I almost watched somebody get stabbed. It was, um, God, it's like every trip, every trip I go on, something crazy happens. We go into an IHOP. First time I've been into an IHOP in like 10 years. And we're like eating there before we go to the second Airbnb. And, um, as we're eating, these guys are walking out and then like the manager follows them like a minute later and they come in and they just start screaming curse words. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And the waitress is like, you didn't pay. And he's like, yes, the fuck I did. And he's like, I tipped you too. She's like, you paid. They both had two. It was two friends. They had, they had two bills. They paid one of the two bills and tipped her like $2 on one bill and then didn't pay the other bill and left. And he was like, fuck y'all bring up the fucking cameras. He starts like grabbing his pockets and shit. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, you know, when you're getting ready to stand up, I'm like, <laughs> that's I'm like, I'm like ready to walk out the back exit. I start looking. Cause like they're getting mad. Like, more mad than I've seen anybody get about a fucking, at a, at a fucking IHOP, right? And I, I'm like, I'm getting ready to fucking leave, right? I need to get the fuck out of here before somebody gets killed. And um, they're like, the, the management's like, we're going to call the cops on you. He's like, do it. And they leave, they get in their car, and they, you know when somebody does like a peel out and it goes, ah! it does that. And they almost crash into the building and then fucking zoom off. I'm like, all that for a fucking $30 fucking two eggs, two eggs, two sausage, and pancakes. Obama for the sub, Plebsy for the fucking 50, says hello. Thank you for the fucking 50, Plebsy. Uh, dub in the chat for that. Thank you, by the way, uh, for the fucking $50 dono. Says hello with a smiley face. Lucid for the sub. Joel Holding, uh, Joe for the sub. Uh, Milan for the sub, Joe for the three. Haven't seen my family in a year because I've been uh because I've been so lonely without you. I finally came out of my room, which has been dark all this year. What? Sing slur for the three. When my dad first had a four loco, he actually tried to murder my mom. Okay, that's not that's not good. Uh, I also feel like that's not a normal reaction to a four loco. Joe's aunt for the five gifted. Yes, sir, for the five. What games are you playing today? Uh, we're doing reacts today after I do my rant, and then we're probably gonna play a game called uh Escape from Grustovia. Uh, which is, like, new. It's, like, a, not, like, a sim game. It's supposed to be, like, a short, like, escape sim-esque game. I don't really know. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be React. Maybe, like, Fortnite. Monday's Minecraft. Tuesday is going to be, um, I think the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. The Beginner's Guide and maybe Barn Finders. So, three new games on Tuesday. Wednesday's gonna be two new scary games. Thursday's going to be, um... Maybe Fortnite and Booze Masters, Friday Reacts, Saturday, whatever, and Sunday Sunday Reacts. But yeah, that's the schedule for today. Also, actually, here's my Discord before I continue my story. If you guys want to uh, send videos for me to react to, gives me to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. Make sure to do that there. Uh, Lucid for the sub, uh, Zooted for the sub. XYZ Monty for the sub. For the 40, I don't know who sent this. It only shows your dono ID. Uh, you make my day every day you post. I just want to, uh, I just enjoy watching your content. I hope you feel better, bro. Thank you for the 40, uh, and the nice ass message. I don't know who the fuck sent that. Great for the sub shows on for the, uh, thousand buddies. Uh, you made my year. I really appreciate how you treat your fans, how you give us advice. Thank you. 
Red TTV yellow. Uh, spread Hunter for the sub. Crazy for the five. Love your streams. Boogie. Uh, X to find for the sub. Dude, who the fuck sent this? I don't even know if my alert box works. It still doesn't. I love you, Joe. For the fucking hundred! Who sent that? If you send a dono, not through bits. You gotta type your name. I don't know who sent that. Holy shit. Thank you for the fucking hundred. Little Izzy for the sub, Cookie for the sub, BX for the three. Happy New Year, Dino, Mr. Safety Steve, Yah, Insanely Nimble, Marmelo for the sub, Zuni for the three. When my grandpa was younger, one of his friends uh, were one of the Gacy's victims. Really? Rick Johnson was the dude's name. One of my, one, when my grandpa was younger, one of his friends was Gacy's victims. Really? Pro Skate and Kale for the sub. Did your uh, grandpa know him well? Clem Deadly for the sub, uh, Michael for the five, Emily for the three. I started 75 hard. I have to do two uh, workouts. A day and one of them's at the gym. I keep myself motivated. That's dope. I mean, that's more than I do. Danny for the sub. Shiz Publix for the sub. Nilla, us make perfect. Uh, Sin and Drillin for the sub. Up for the sub. Oh, and Emily for the three. Uh, I broke my leg sliding down my backyard. Said Philip for the three. Fiend Golden for the sub. Cloak for the sub. Free for the sub. Kaboom for the three. Favorite game is Sea of Thieves. Did he finish back rooms? No. Juice, Bianca for the sub. Aven for the three. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, SLC for the three. Uh, been sick for the whole Christmas break. I feel like a lot of people have. Red source for the sub. Are you guys back in school, by the way? Right up for the three. Uh, first time been on, uh, been watching on YouTube. First time on Twitch. Uh, Quentin for the sub. Metal for the three. Uh, M. Plebzy and JT for the three. I have 60 missing assignments. Yeah, you got to do those. Nexus, Benny, and HV uh, for the sub. Rock for the three. Uh, why not make minimum cheer 245 instead of 300? I feel like that's a random amount. Is 245 what you normally buy? I thought you buy uh, bits in 300 increments. Shoji for the three. It's been so boring since you were on break. Uh, L. Ross and Spans for the three. When's the next Valorant stream? I don't know. PDA for the sub. It's Asian. Jay Morrison uh, off for the sub. Sniffer for the uh, for the subs. AMD. Z Samoa. Black. Uh, Jacob for the three. Chat. I'm sorry I'm reading so many donos, but I don't want to just ignore them. Uh, so it's going to take me a minute. Uh, but I think I'm almost caught up. Uh, Z Cosmic Pluto, uh, L Russ for the sub, Joe Bart uh, for the three. My favorite server, thanks for making my day. Thank you. Spit for the three, Mr. Stone, and up for the sub. Uh, Lucid Just for the sub. Uh, I was bored. I was watching House of Ashes uh, and Devil and Me's playthrough. What is your ranking on the games? Uh, I don't really know. Devil and Me was pretty fire, even though people didn't like it. I would say the best one, though, is uh, Little Hope. Are you playing the new ones coming out this year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nick for the five. What's your worst Walmart uh, self checkout experience? I've really had a bad one. Checker Cringe for the sub. That's a very specific uh, ask. Angels for the sub. Brady for the three. Make me very happy. Bradley for the 20. I just located my knee on over your vacation. I hope you're all right, man. Hope the recovery goes well. Uh, Angels for the sub. Jack for the three. Got my tonsils out a week ago. Recovery was rough. But binging your old streams helped me through it. I'm glad I could help. And I'm sorry you had to fucking deal, that, uh, deal with that, man. Brad for the sub. Tino for the three. Uh, what's your go-to Wendy's order? Nugs. Uh, maybe a Baconator. What do you guys get from Wendy's? Watch the new Supermassive Games trailer. There's a, there's a new one. I'm going to play those games when they come out. We have to watch the new Mickey's uh, Mousetrap official trailer, by the way. Uh, there's like, mi apparently Mickey Mickey's movies are like a thing people can make now. There's no new Supermassive Games trailer. It's only for the casting of Frank Stone. I rich for the hundred! You're a great guy. I want to ask if you ever play Sally Face. Appreciate what you do. I have Sally Face on my wish list on Steam. I might play it one day. Is Sally Face a good game, chat? And thank you for the fucking hundred I Ritz uh, for the hundred dollar demo uh, dono or yeah I would assume it's Ritz or Wo Ritz I don't know how you say it I W Ritz probably uh, hyper for the sub uh, grandpa for the three how do you feel about this Asia, North Carolina Louisiana uh, never been to Louisiana North Carolina's chill Mr Stone for the three Last of Us two fix a bunch of bugs maybe try it not soon Davy for the sub if I play Last of Us it won't be for multiple months Nord for the three. A lot of people just say we live to die, but it, uh, is a song played to be finished? Is a book read to be finished? Do you start a job to quit? No. We don't live to die. You live to experience before you die. Death is what gives life meaning. I, Ritz, thank you for the $100 down on town. All right. Back to the story. I got to blow my nose again. Chat, don't say ill. <clears throat> also... We're doing a, a philosophy stream soon as well. I know people have been asking for those, so we'll do one soon enough. Haven for the three. I want to say me and my mom have been watching your videos. I try watching uh, you live, but when I 
when you go in live, but when I work. But recently, my bulldog dog, Oakley, has passed. We had to go put her down due to cancer in her lungs. I'm sorry to hear that. I was wondering if, in her honor, you could watch a 30-second video uh, of funny bulldogs. You don't have to. Just reading this is enough for me and my mother. Um, if you have any specific funny videos you want me to watch of uh, bulldogs, could you send them in the game suggestion tab? Because I don't really know what I would watch specifically. Bulldog funny video. I mean, I don't know if uh, YouTube has that. Oh, they do. God, they have such fat heads. Is he eating a cheese stick? Oh. They're like big bowling balls. They have such fucking fat faces. That's not a desk, by the way. It's cute. <laughs> Yo, my favorite thing ever is when dogs get so excited that wagging their tail isn't enough and they start shaking their butt. Because they don't know what to do. It's like they have, like, too much built-up energy. Uh, El Ellie, and I'm just for the sub. XX for the sub. All right, back to the story. On uh, Haven, thank you for the thousand buddies. Um, my dog pees from excitement. Yeah, my dog, my dog also does that. We get to the Airbnb. This is the fucking view, chat. It is fucking insane. This is from the window. From the window. Look at that shit, dude. Like, you could see miles. Fucking sick. I didn't even know it would be that good. I was just like, yeah, we got to get this Airbnb. Here's another one uh, of this, like, lookout or whatever. Also kind of sick. Pretty cool view. I mean, you know, same same, same background. Just woods and shit, but it's also dope. Oh, pick a me. Going to be posting this up on the IG in a, in a day or two. Going to be the new I, you know, little sneak peek. Me sitting up here. Look at the little fucking background. W vibes. Ellie for the sub. Or Eli for the sub. Sugar, thank you for the 5K biddies. It was kind of dumb of you to kill Dylan and London Tipton in the quarry. They're making a sequel. They're making a sequel to the fucking quarry? No, they're not. Mr. Yo-Yo for the three. Is that the one that's getting released this year? I thought the futuristic one's getting released this year. Approaching the Mexican border with 100, grams, uh, 100 kilograms of coke in the trunk. Hope it goes well. Good luck. Conducing for the sub. Sugar, thank you for the 5K biddies, though. Anyways. Oh, we also passed this cool temple. In the middle of the woods. In the middle of the woods. It's fucking massive. Massive. I don't know if it's an active thing. I don't Because it, it looks dark, but I feel like it might just not be open. Uh, kaboom for the three. My dog's legs are giving out. I feel terrible. I, I mean, man, I'm sorry you're going through that. But it's a thing with it's a thing with dogs. It's a thing with every living thing, right? My dog, my older dog, not Daisy, uh, but my other dog uh, had full leg paralysis, and we had to put her down. Uh, it happens. Dogs get old; they get a lot of problems. Some of them you can fix, some of them you can't. Um, I, I, I you can deal with it as long as possible, but you know, it, I, the the best thing that I could say is, dogs for the short life they live, if they've lived with you their entire life, they've usually lived a very good life, right? Like, dogs have very little stress. So even though they, it's sad that your dog may only get to live anywhere between 6 and 15 years, depending on the breed, um, their, their life's amazing, right? I mean, they might be bored, but, like, they get, a, they get a play, eat, sleep. Everything's provided for them. It's pretty nice, right? That's why it's re also really sad when dogs have to go through shit, because it's like, then they don't even have the perk of being a dog to begin with. Uh, Split and Sully for the sub. Nugget for the three. Been watching your TikTok for years. I'm uh, sorry you were sick. Hope you get better. Thank you. Kaboom for the three. Uh, Plebsy for the three. Uh, now 18 month sub. Uh, almost 20 months. Dub. Time goes by fucking quickly. Thank you for all the years uh, of your amazing streams. W streamer. Thank you. Dickens for the three. Free little Cobra. Brafty for the sub. Man, it is 2024. Cobra got banned in 2022. Split for the sub. Alfie for the five. Just had an Eddie, but excited for reacts. Dub. Bro, didn't Cobra get banned in 2022? I feel like that motherfucker got banned so long ago. 
Like, there is no way. There is no way he got banned. Yeah, he might have gotten banned in early 23. And he just got unbanned. I'm I'm seeing that that might that might be what happened. I don't know for sure. Anyways, let's get back into this chat. All right. Uh, and milk for the three. Have you tried snus? No, I haven't. Floating for the forty. I spent fifteen minutes trying to decide what the fuck to write. Well, thank you for the forty dollar fucking dono floating cantaloupe. Is that from my TikTok? Thank you for the forty, man. I appreciate that. Anyways. The trip with me and Brooke was nice. Back to my story. Uh, we wanted to go out to eat one night. Turns out, when you're in the middle of nowhere, going out to eat, not that easy, right? We drove to four separate places that all on Google said they were open, and they were all closed. Uh, and one of them looked like a death trap, uh, and I took a picture of it. Uh, this place was called Rock Hotel, uh, and they apparently had food. And this is what it looks like when we pulled up. And I said, that place doesn't look open. And then, um, it, it, keep in mind, it, on Google, it says it's open. This is the door. This is the front door. Now, if this doesn't look like uh, somewhere where you would get strangled to death, uh, I don't know what does, right? And let me tell you, the only places we actually found that were open were the type of places that would have two uh, beers on tap, right? And one of them used to be Bud Light, right? And now it's not because they don't like Bud Light. That's that's the place, the places we were in. The places where it's like, yeah, well, we have two beer. We had, we had two beers on tap, Miller and Bud Light, you know? But then Bud Light started associating with, with the homosexuals, right? So we had to get rid. So now we only have Miller. Like that. That was that was the area we were in, right? Where they would stop serving that. And they had nothing. Nothing at all. Um And yeah, no, it was like outside of that it was a pretty sick trip. I mean there wasn't really anything like monumental. Made some fire made some fire meals. I chefed that shit up outside of that because we were like, Yeah, we can't eat out anywhere here. Uh, because there's literally nowhere to go. And so we just chilled outside of that. It's pretty, pretty vibey. W trip. I'm glad I'm back, by the way, though, chat. You know, we're done ranting there. I don't know if there's anything else. I'm trying to think. Oh, there is one more thing. We, I, okay. One of the nights. Oh, no, I can't say this. Oh, no, I can't. Mm, I'll leave out a piece of the story. One night, I was... Off a certain drug that may be legal in this state that isn't legal in other states. And I was not shrooms. No, weed. I'll just say it. And um, I was like, I want to watch a movie, right? I want to watch a movie. Let's watch something really shitty. And so we started scrolling on like, hold up. We started scrolling on like the worst movies list to watch. And let me tell you, chat, we came upon some real fucking gold mines. Hold up. How the hell did I just open this? Display image? Like Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. Or another one was, uh, I didn't watch this one. I kind of wish I did because I wanted to see what it was like. Uh, Velocipaster, uh, which is a movie about a priest who becomes a velociraptor uh, or has the powers of a velociraptor and fights ninjas. And so, um, that, and then there was another one that we saw, Sharks of the Corn, uh, which I also really wanted to see. And keep in mind, even though I haven't seen any of these movies, uh, I will watch them at one point. Stephen Kang's Sharks of the Corn, it's about sharks in a cornfield. And I know that makes no logical sense whatsoever, but that's what makes the movie amazing. We ended up watching... 
uh, a movie called Ripped. Uh, and it was fire. It was a movie about two dudes who smoked CIA weed in the 80s and fell asleep for 30 years and then started a chili business. That's the movie. They smoked so much weed that they fell asleep for 30 years, woke up in 2016, and said, hey, let's start a fucking chili business. And that's what they did. And so that was a good movie. Anyways, I, I didn't even know a lot of these movies existed, but they do. And I found that out on this trip, and I thought that was very fascinating. React to Velocipaster trailer. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch it. Velocipaster trailer. <laughs> They followed me home. The Velocipista. A troubled priest. How long has it been since your last confession? Oh, it's been about two years. I do drugs, sell drugs, uh, murder people. Oh! Oh! A beautiful girl with a dark pissed. What do you think the budget of this movie was? Last night was amazing. What are you talking about? The time you turned into a dinosaur and ate some. What? Dinosaurs. You guys talk all the time about helping people. This they just had a background. Dinosaurs. Like actually the Five dollars. Dude, these these actors probably got paid like two grand. Time in your life you can. By what? Killing people? Yes. Show me, I mean anything. Oh my god, dude, the realistic, the realistic graphics. Yo. Chat, that dinosaur looks so real. And who came up with that? Let's have a a church going pastor be a velociraptor and he's gonna fight ninjas. Like what? Ginger dead man. Oh wait, no, sharks sharks of the corn trailer. Let's watch one more for sharks of the corn, you know, and then we'll get into the actual. Rapture. Why would you even do this? I don't know. Am I wrong in saying this? I watch. I already watched this trailer when I almost watched the movie. This looks like a, a middle school class project. When you're like, when they're like, you have to leave the class with your group and go film something for like a, like Shakespeare. You have to like reenact something. That scene right there just looks like a school movie. How are they explaining that sharks are in a cornfield? Shark! <laughs> You're in like rural Tennessee. Shark! We're in a cornfield. No, there's a great white. God. Dude, I don't even know what this movie's about. I couldn't tell you. Like, that guy looks creepy. A lot of guns. A helicopter. That was probably the biggest budget thing they had. Oh my god, they actually swim in the field. Yo, you know what's crazy is this would probably be better than The Meg 2. Have y'all seen that movie? That shit was trash. The Meg 2 was like a build up the entire movie that just had no climax. It just ended. It was awful. Like it was, I, and the Meg 1 wasn't even bad. Z-Man for the sub, uh, Z-Cosmic for the three. 
Been watching you for years and your streams are the best. Got me through some tough times in the summer. Have you ever watched Attack on Titan? No, I need to, though. Cranberries for the three. Been watching Vaz Nonstop. Finally caught a stream. What's going on today uh, on stream? We're going to do a little bit of reacts. We're going to play uh, Escape from Gristovia afterwards. Uh, it's probably going to be a four-hour stream. Uh, we might play a little bit of gaming after that, depending on how long Escape from Gristovia takes. Tomorrow's going to be a full react day. Monday's full Minecraft Monday. Tuesday, we're going to be playing like two different games, maybe three. Uh, Barn Finders, The Beginner's Guide, maybe some other shit. Uh, Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday's going to be... Oh, no. Thursday, we're playing WWE. Ooh, forgot to mention that. Thursday, we're going to play WWE. That'll be pretty sick uh, for a little bit. Uh, and then what? I don't really know. I don't know if we're going to make a custom character and do, like, a story or just fucking play WWE. I'll probably let my uh, chat... What would you guys rather me do for a Thursday? Would you rather do, like, just regular WWE or, like, custom, like a, like a story, like the my build type shit? Both? We could do both. TJ for the three. Probably one of my favorite uh, Joe Bart story times. Thank you. Uh, b -b 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 Matthew for the sub. Harry for the three. How does it feel to have Arsenal FC player in your chat next time you play FIFA, play as me? You're all, you're in FIFA? You're in FIFA? What's your rating? Oh, he don't want to talk about that, though. Oh, he don't want to talk. He said, he said, dude, they fucking, they fucking scammed me on my rating. I feel like that's what every, what every fucking professional uh, football player says. Oh, dude, my rating should have been higher. Fucking, fucking 75. Fucking 75 pace. I could run a fucking 4740. Tetris for the three. Uh, the merch mini that I uh, bought has not arrived. I emailed the company. They haven't responded to me. Uh, which company did you email? The shipping facility or did you email Killer Merch? Uh, Milky and JTY for the sub. JPEG for the 340. One of the rare times I got to watch the streams live. Start the next semester this Monday. I'm a biology major. Uh, so I'm constantly in class. Dude, I need to blow my nose so bad. Hold up, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear the snot changing my voice? Like, it started clogging up my nose so much that I had to fucking talk weird. Oh, I still gotta blow it. I want to show you guys so bad. Oh. Oh. Dude. I'm gonna say this, though. And am I wrong? When you're sick and your nose is clogged, and you blow a fat booger, and you can breathe, top five best feelings. When you're like, fuck, man, I can't breathe, and you finally just get it out. Oh, oh it's a, I, I see, I feel fine now. I feel fucking amazing. JTY for the sub, JPEG for the three. Uh, constantly in, I, I literally couldn't read your message because I had to blow my nose. Biology major, so I'm constantly in class, lab, or studying. Anyways, love, uh, to watch you when I get a chance. Well, I'm glad you can tune in, uh, now. Thank you for the fucking biddies, man. Multi, keep on, uh, smoking, not the Riddler for the sun milk for the three. I already read that. Blaze, pros, ghost for the 34 month sub. Christo for the sun, Michael for the thousand butters of biddies. Can I get some lunch money for my dog? Also, I think you missed my other bits. Lunch money for your fucking dog. All right, are y'all ready to get into the reacts today? I'm done with my little rant. How's the story this time, chat? You know, some stories are better than others. I think that story was was all right, you know? It was all right. I had some fun, had some fun moments. It wasn't like an out-of-country trip like some other ones, so it wasn't crazy. Uh, oh, thank you for the 300 bitties, Michael. I, I did miss your other bets. Uh, Witty for the three. Uh, my granddad's in the hospital. He had a stroke. I'm sorry to hear that. Prayers in the chat for your grandfather. Uh, your streams help take my mind off of it. Well, I hope your grandfather's all right. The Waffle for the sub. Um, Z-Man for the sub. Loud Live Scriptic for the sub. Um, and Georgie for the three. Aussie for the three. Would you ever play Alan Wake 2? Probably not. Uh, you should watch the trailer. Georgie for the three. 
I'm going to save some money uh, in case I join the charity stream. I'm going to let you know how much you helped me. Uh, I was struggling horrendously with my mental health. Well, I'm glad I could help, man. Uh, and yeah, if you're ever going through anything depressive, make sure to reach out for help. Never fight that battle alone. Mental health is not something you need to fight alone. Uh, and it should never be fought alone. Uh, you helped me crawl out of that cave with your humor uh, and W advice. Thank you. I'll see you for the three. Uh, and if you have any games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, you can recommend Alan Wake too, but I probably won't play it just because I know it's long. Send it in the game stash tab, video stash tab. Uh, somebody redeemed flex. Pin the Discord link mods. Thank you. All right. Y'all ready to get into this shit? Your fave for the two gifteds. I also haven't worked out in like two weeks. Little rundown of the reacts today. Mickey's Mousetrap official trailer a horror movie. New horror movie coming out with Mickey. I spent seven days in solitary confinement. Uh, the Mr. Beast video that we missed uh, that I need to watch has 86 million views. I searched 100 thrift stores. Actually, scary horror movies. What's your uh, partner's least favorite or least attractive feature? And are Skinwalkers real? Uh, and then we're going to play some games. Tomorrow's a full react day. Um... So, I don't really know uh, if we're going to add any more React videos after this. I want to get some gaming in. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Rant, React, gaming. Because I haven't been here in a week. But tomorrow's a full React day. Monday's full Minecraft. Tuesday, a uh, bunch of games. Wednesday, uh, or Tuesday's going to be Barn Finders and the Beginner's Guide. Uh, Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday, WWE. And maybe Ruckfest with chat. So, Equavian and Pager and Georgia for the sub. Cranberries for the thread. Getting towards the end of my senior year, and I'm curious if you have any types of college shirts, getting financial aid, scholarships, or opera for the sub. You should get on that now if you haven't. Applying as early as possible is what you need to do. You should be applying like, you should be done applying around now. If you haven't applied yet, I would apply right now. Uh, not right now, meaning right now, but in January. Uh, just so you can get accepted or not, because they have, they have quotas that they reach. Um, financial aid, uh, just applying with FAFSA, all that other shit. Uh, and then scholarships, just finding... Uh, the right colleges for you. Different colleges have different tiered levels of scholarships for SAT scores, GPAs, shit like that. APs, Tetris for the three. Email killer merch balls in the shop app uh, that I used to buy beanies. Said it got delivered back in uh, December, but never delivered to me. It said it got delivered. Do you know your reference number? Um, because I will give that to my manager, uh, and I'll try and get that solved. Uh, because if I if you have your reference number, they'll be able to contact you. Uh, and I could try and help there. But if you don't have a reference number, like the, the order number, then I don't know uh, what I could do specifically. Uh, all right. What jobs do you recommend for a high schooler? Wagey shit. McDonald's. Walmart. Walmart's a fire job if you're in high school. If you can pull a Walmart job in high school, you're going to be getting paid good money. Retail. is That's really where you're going to get. I would always say this. Underrated job. Cart pusher. I, the amount of fucking places I applied to, to be a fucking cart pusher when I was in high school was fucking insane. And I never got any of those jobs. I, I ended up working at GNC, but I wanted to, I wanted to be a cart pusher so bad because all you do is just push carts and then sit on your phone and you don't have to interact with people. I mean, outside of like, uh, uh, hey, do you need a car? Maybe like if they're like fucking get out of their car. Uh, cold for the three. No way you're going to play Wreckfest. I want a couple hundred dollars on there from tournaments. Really? I do want to play. I don't know if I'm going to play it this Thursday, but I have Wreckfest downloaded. I, I will play the game at some point. All right. Lock in for the Mickey movie or Mickey trailer. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Mickey is how many years old? So there's like a copyright law in the United States. Uh, where you can only have the uh, secluded rights for a character for 95 years. Uh, and Mickey is 95 years old or 100 years old. I don't know uh, the exact specifics. But you're not allowed to own a character for infinity, right? You can only own a character for a specific uh, set amount of time. And so just like Winnie the Pooh's older figure, uh, old Mickey Mouse is now up for grabs. Uh, I could make a movie with Mickey Mouse. I could watch old Mickey Mouse. And they can't do jack shit the fuck about it. And I'm telling you this, chat. How old is Tom and Jerry? Because when Tom and Jerry... If Tom and Jerry is old as shit, when the new Tom... When Tom and Jerry is copyright free, we're watching Tom and Jerry on stream. Fur and PRX for the sub. It's only 60 years old? Shit. Okay, never mind, chat. We're not going to be watching Tom and Jerry. Mickey's Mousetrap official trailer.
deserve the best party that we can throw. I feel like this is going to be a bad movie, though. Because have y'all seen uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? Because that apparently um, did really fucking bad and also uh, is not scary at all. Um, Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Yeah, no, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was shit. I, I could rant forever. Well, yeah, dude. It's gonna, it's any, because the people that are making these aren't like known companies. It's like randos. And how are you going to make a Mickey horror? Why is it always a horror movie? Why can't we make like a comedy where Mickey is like a, a depressed fucking union worker? Like, why, why does it have to be Mickey's evil and out to kill us? Because it's easy money? Yeah, making a horror movie is probably the easiest thing. If you were tasked with making a movie, what genre would you make your movie? Comedy's hard. To make a good comedy movie? I feel like horror's the easiest. Just scary. Horror? Horror, maybe not thriller. Thriller's hard. Thriller's very hard. Action. Action is easy, comparably. Action and, um, horror. Romance? Romance, easy. Yeah, romance is the best. You're not going to make a Mickey romance movie, though. But romance is an easy is an easy category to knock out. Like the Hallmark movies, low budget. You just make some sob story. <laughs> I've seen some rejections in my time, but man, that was a good one. <laughs> blood all over the jungle gym. Blood. Yes. The second we see Mickey, it's going to be no longer a good movie. Bro, right now, not that bad. Right now, not a bad lead up. The second we see Mickey and his dumb ass just go, <laughs> he's going to peel out and it's going to be some jerk off in a fucking, in a mascot costume. Completely in love with you. It's not even going to be Mickey. It's just going to be a person. It's totally disgusting. Put the phone down. Put the phone down, please. I was like, dude. Stuck. Break through the fucking glass. Like, what? Life or death? Life or death? You're telling me you're not just fucking body checking that, that fucking windowsill. You're nailing yourself out of there. Turn around, please, James! Oh my god, it's not even a mascot. It's not even a mascot. It's Mickey in a robe. Oh my god, it's just a dude. It's just a dude in a Mickey mask. From like fucking uh, Spirit Halloween. And this is a movie. This isn't a short film. This is like a two hour plot builder. I'll be right back. <laughs> and he's Bro wants to be the dude from Outer Banks so bad. Bro wants to be, what's his name? John B. Bro wants to be John B so bad. Oh. Dead. What? You guys are just a bunch of fucking. What do they call them? What do they? What do they call them in Outer Banks? Pokies? No, that means casino in Australia. What is it? It's uh, pogues. You guys are a bunch of fucking pogues. You guys are a bunch of fuck. You a bunch of fucking wannabes. Like if you was in a horror movie, you'd never say, "I'll be right back," because then you don't. Oh, that is actually kind of a scary mask. Uh... But it's so clear he's just a dude. They should have made him a little animated Mickey. Like a Chucky character. That would have been better. Like a one foot Mickey. And he's like, ha oh, And fucking gouges your eyes out with pencils. Like that. Like, that would be fucking scary, right? 
like a very agile Mickey. CGI him. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, my boat ran out of gas. It's fueled by blood. And then he like fucking jabs their fucking jugular, fills a bucket up. Where the hell did he go? Or he's like a saw trap. Yo, that'd be crazy. They make Mickey like saw. They could have made, I could have made this a better movie. Mickey's mousetrap. Maybe it is like fucking saw. I, am I wrong in saying they're trying to do FNAF? <laughs> they're trying to do FNAF. An arcade, an arcade security cameras. Stupid people. That don't know they could just leave the fucking arcade. It's kind of FNAF. Well, it's FNAF, but shitty. Toaster for the sub cranberries for the three. Me and some friends made like a 10 minute horror sh uh, short film for school. If it's something you'd watch, send it in the video suggestion tab. I would watch that. Unless it's really bad. Ah, if it's really bad, that might be better though. End the nation for the sub. My order for the beanie. Okay, hold up. I'll message my manager right now. All right, I just sent my manager. Uh, George for the three. I'll let you. I'll let you know what they say if uh, they re he responds on stream. Toasted for the sub. All right, next one, chat. Now it's time for the Mr. Beast video. Have you guys seen this yet? I feel bad that I'm watching this a week late, right? Because I know my chat likes watching it with me when it comes out. But I mean, like, I literally wasn't live. So uh, even if you've seen it, ah, uh, we're watching it. Ah, uh, we're watching it. Cause I haven't seen it. I spent seven days in solitary confinement. I'm going to attempt to spend the next seven days in solitary confinement. Seal me up. Bye, Jimmy. Hopefully I don't go insane. For the next seven days, I have to survive in this soundproof white room with zero human contact and zero stimulation. And because this is actually psychologically dangerous, the most important thing is the doctor outside making sure I don't go insane. I worked in psych hospitals for 23 years, and uh, this is much worse than anything I've ever seen. Anything past 50 hours in a white room like this can lead to permanent psychological damage. And I'm about to- Permanent? No way. You leave- you leave permanent damage. I sit in that room for four days and I'll come out a different person. Do 168 hours. There is a chance that I actually start to lose my mind and go into something called psychosis. And they have to pull me out because it can cause permanent damage to me. He survived seven days buried alive. Yo, did Jimmy get veneers or some shit? My man's teeth fucking different. Yeah. Is this much harder? Much harder. He doesn't have social contact. If your brain doesn't have information coming in, it generates craziness, it generates hallucinations, it generates paranoia. It's not white room fully because he's wearing an art. He's wearing an orange suit. And all I have to survive almost white room for the next week is a bed to sleep on, a notebook with a pen, a refillable bottle of water, toothbrush with toothpaste, and a bar of soap. A toilet to use the bathroom. Where's your food? Bathroom and a sink for water. At this point, it was clear to me it was going to be difficult to entertain. Is he not eating for a week? Is he not eating? myself during this challenge especially on hour nine when i did this you're probably wondering how many tiles are on these walls the correct answer is 1900 and if you want the roof and floor included then it's 2860 but more importantly than all of that according to my stomach if you're wondering why i painted this color uh, or this wall the color of poop it's because i smeared my poop all over it if you're wondering why this section of the wall is brown now it's to keep me mentally sane. It is time to eat food. If you're wondering how I'm eating during this challenge, there's a conveyor belt here, which spans over 100 feet, so I can be fed without any human interaction. I think I've been in here around 14 hours. Isn't it crazy that at this point, I was already off by two hours? And uh, so far the hardest Dude, I'm playing it up. 100% I'm playing it up for the fucking video. They lock me in here. Day two, I'm gonna start, po I'm gonna start taking my poop out of the toilet. Just fuck it. Just make it almost unwatchable. You're like, Jesus, they got to get this man out of here.
part of the challenge is no one's fed me yet. In hindsight, I should have ate more food before I came in here. But yeah, it would be really nice if someone fed me sometime soon. Your boy is very hungry. <laughs> did you wash your hands? Yeah, of course I did. No, he did not. Oh, they're not we'll giving him white food, though. You remember when Vsauce did this? He was in a white... It was a complete white room torture. They're at least giving him food that's not white. Sending him his meals randomly so he can't guess the time. Full white room torture is when you have... it's you, you are around nothing that isn't white. Like, it's 6 p.m. right now, and we're sending him his breakfast. When are my friends gonna feed me? I am hungry. I am hungry. Now, because the room is soundproof, even though the food arrived, I didn't realize it until I checked two hours later. Too hungry to walk. That's a little dramatic, man. Come on. So when I finally checked, oh, I was not actually expecting food. This tastes awesome. I mean, it's cold and soggy, but I'm just so deprived of feeling things. This is this is great. <sighs> this solitary confinement. What's a food that's normally warm that's better cold? Not pizza. I know people are gonna say pizza. Dude, honestly, I might go fucking like pancakes. Like a cold pancake is actually pretty fucking fire. Cheesesteak? Ew. Ice cream? Ice cream is normally warm. Somebody said grapes. Any fruit warm is disgusting. Floating for the three. Here comes the Chris comments. You don't have to support her, but get over it. Oh, my Lord, she's... Literally just standing there. You don't even even need to mention it. Exactly. I crap. Uh, Densa, JJ, Landano, Richard, Caffin for the sub. Ao, Tosa for the sub. Cranberries for the three. I'm in set. Is pop tarts? Pop tarts are fucking disgusting. Cold. Literally wrapped in metal chains. If this set caught on fire, I would probably burn alive before they can unlock it. Anyways, I'm gonna think about other things than that. <laughs> for the next few hours, I tried to keep myself as stimulated as humanly possible. Oh. That's kind of cool. He's got nothing. He has nothing to work with. If he's already resulting to this for basic stimulation, I have my doubts that he'll last seven days. It's interesting how- Bro, he's just throwing a fucking metal pan around the walls. I'm gonna start doing fucking sit-ups. Or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, what are you guys doing to fucking entertain yourself? When you take everything away from a man, something as simple as a metal plate can be, like, as fun as an iPhone. He's gonna get agitated. No way by way of boredom. This is a very dehumanizing experience. I'm just gonna go to bed and we'll see what happens. Talk to myself? I feel like that's how you go insane. I think Actually, I'm around- no, making a Wilson. Like, like a little fake friend to talk to. 40 hours into the challenge. Jimmy's six hours off on what time he thinks it is. Which means it's around 4 p.m. on day number two. I thought he'd be on track today. Losing my sense of time led to Somebody other said, honestly, I'm beating my shit, bro, for seven days. For seven days, right? That's not, that's not a seven-day entertainment process, right? Up and out, up and out the way for the five gifted. It's real for the sub, trippy for the three. Thank you for the five subs up and out the way. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the five gifteds. Problem. No matter what I do, I literally just can't sleep. Yeah, and you're being filmed. Like, there's a doctor watching him. These lights are just really messing with my brain. Maybe I just lay here for the next five days. Honestly, I, I, I genuinely believe I could tank this challenge. By means of hibernation, I would eat so much food before I got in there and I would just sleep for like the first three days, like nonstop. Like I would just constantly just try and make myself tired. And I don't care what health repercussions there are for sleeping for seven days straight. That's how I'm surviving this challenge. Take her in real for the set. The reason he hasn't sound- The lights are on. Here's the cover. Over my head. He is he doesn't need to sleep. He wants to sleep this off and just get it over with. But what he should be doing He's is trying, trying to escape! Paralyze him! To do something that is gonna occupy his attention while he's awake. He's climbing the wall. It's the natural human urge for freedom. He's regressing to primal instinct. Why did I think it was Okay? <laughs> it's the natural human urge for freedom. He's regressing to primal instinct. Bitch, he ain't trying to escape. He's bored, right? Like, he, you're, 
You're acting like he has no mind now. It was 4 p.m. Shouldn't that mean it's 9 p.m.? And by the time I had gotten around eating my first meal, it was 4.30 in the afternoon. Don't get me wrong, the food looks good, but it is freezing cold. Is he Ooh. only eating breakfast every day? I'd rather starve than eat the rest of this. You're kidding me. I would fucking devour that, dude. Cold fucking breakfast potatoes. I'm tanking that. So. And when my I'm going to tell them to just start giving me hard-boiled eggs. Then I'd be entertained by my farts. I really think that would entertain me. I'm so serious. If they just give me, like, Brussels sprouts and stuff that would make me have to poop a lot, I think that would take up a very large amount of my time. If they if they were, like, just constantly feeding me beans and shit where I was, like, I kind of felt like shit, then I've that, I, that would just distract me. Second meal had arrived. It felt like only minutes had passed. What just came through the conveyor belt? Wait, how long has it been? Am I supposed to eat both, or...? It definitely was oh, the you who yeah you can throw that in the fucking trash me too when i got the second breath <laughs> fucking you who no i haven't had one of those when was the last time y'all had a fucking you who i know somebody's about to be like right now oh right now i just grabbed it from the store fucking psycho it's chocolate flavored water but I didn't eat much of the breakfast. So maybe they felt bad because I didn't eat much of the breakfast. Well, no. At this point, I had no idea how long that first meal was sitting in the conveyor belt for. You see he's getting a little paranoid. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that can get worse as time goes on. It's only day two. I'm not sure what to do. I think I'm going to just see how high I can count. One, two, three, four. It looks five, crazy, five, right? 565, 566, 567. But when five, you're in a situation where there's nothing to do, 999. What's crazy is to. I think I'd just sit face down in the. Honestly, I think this would entertain me. I'd sit face down in the pillows and just go. Uh, just like nonstop. I think that would give me a, enough mental stimulation to where I could just like, would just zone out. I'd just go uh, and just like grunt for like. <laughs> for like four hours just succumb to it one thousand see how long i can hold my breath that would be a thing as this progresses he's gonna run out of random things to do and i gotta give it to him i would just freestyle <laughs> for seven days no beat you're just gonna start rapping you're just gonna start you just start freestyling non-stop a notebook? He doesn't have... Does he have a notebook? I forget if he said he had one. Mr. TNT, Ivory, J Thief, Scarcore, and News for the sub. Real and take over the sub. You're gonna just freestyle. Doctor was right. Because later in this challenge, I borderline go insane. Do you think I'd get a... Do you think I'd... Ah! Ah! And while my strategy to sleep through most of the challenge did help pass the time, it ended up hurting me in other ways. It hurts because then he doesn't know how long it's been. Oh shit, he thinks that they delivered three fucking meals. Nah, they're fucking with him now. I see food over there. It's freaking soggy and cold. How long has this been sitting here? This food's been sitting there for seven hours. Ugh. I would have given anything. Oh, seven hour old egg. Eat that ice cream. Ah, it would have been nice to have edible ice cream and one meatball. Parts of the meal, but I guess I'll just be hungry again. Normally, because bro, you're telling me he can't eat it though. You're telling me he can't eat it though. I he'd rather be hungry than just fucking tank the cold spaghetti. We're working on so many videos at once. I'm usually like incredibly stressed. As of right now. I don't really feel that stressed at all, but I feel a ton of anxiety because I have this severe FOMO that I'm missing tons of cool stuff going on in the world. It's weird. It's a different emotion than I'm used to. It's pretty crazy how hard it is to do nothing. I'm starting to get really bored. Oh, this is getting very hard on me mentally. I'm bored. Help. I was nowhere near the 168 hour mark. So by hour 65, I started to wonder, how do you do a handstand? 
He doesn't know how to do a fucking handstand. <laughs> Ow. Wish before I came in here, I had someone teach me the basics of how to do a handstand. He's gonna have to invent concepts that only exist in his mind to keep himself from experiencing intense depression. I'm just gonna envision that I'm currently walking in a park. There's green grass, someone's fishing. He's literally making up scenarios <laughs> in his head right now. Oh my God. All in all, it's very sunny. I hear birds. How do you entertain yourself outside of that? I feel like maybe just daydreaming. You ruined. I would learn, I would just start doing calisthenics. Yeah, but it kind of sucks because he's in a foamy room, so he can't really, like, do, like, big workouts. By walk in the park. <laughs> oh, my God. We're watching him slip into madness. Ooh. They yeah, I would me. just get fucking shredded. I would have abs of steel in seven days. More food. But it looks like we got some rice, sweet potato, and steak. This is the best meal I've gotten so far at this challenge. If you look right here, you'll see some rice. And any ordinary human would probably eat this rice. But I'm gonna count it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 7, 98, 99, 100, 104, 205, 266, 257, 327, 308, 309, 310. 20, 421, 422, 423. I four, feel like that's too much. I would not, I would not. Would you guys count the fucking rice? 45, 446, 447. There are 447 grains of rice on this metal tray. This information probably profoundly changed you as a human. I'm feeling pretty tired, which means it's probably the night of the fifth. I wasn't even Ooh. halfway through the- Oh, see, that's rough. The last two days, he's going to fucking hate it. Challenge? It was already off. Because he's going to think he should already be out a day and a half before he actually should get out. A full day. I'm going to get some more disease in the bathroom where it's not so freaking bright, which proved to be my smartest move yet because I actually slept in that bathroom for 12 hours. We're a f what? How is he that tired, though? I don't think I would be able... I think there would be a moment where I would be so awake that I couldn't sleep. But you know when you sleep so much that it makes you more tired? I feel like that's the key. Like, you can oversleep, and being o and oversleeping makes you tired. Officially halfway into the challenge, 84 hours. Jimmy is. And we're going to tell him that in his next meal. Just oh. kind of mix it all up for him. I mean, you can still put the letters no. together. Oh. I, I thought they were just going to fucking tell him. Do you think he's going to rearrange it? I'm hungry. Hungry, I am. What are we working with here? What is this? Bro's never heard of SpaghettiOs? And that wasn't the only thing I was forgetting the name of. What is this called? This is a. <laughs> he can't remember the name of a biscuit? Uh, or a bread roll? A roll. This is a lot of sauce for one roll. It kind of tastes like ketchup. How does he not notice oh. the letters in there? Oh! That's an N. Yeah! You guys forgot to take these four SpaghettiOs out. No. Every time he finds a letter, he just keeps eating it. I hope those weren't supposed to spell something. There was some magically. <laughs> Nah. Oh my God. Now he's like, what did I swallow? I swallowed an N and an O and a Q. He's supposed to realize that before I ate them and then put it together to figure out a word for more food. Surely that's not what they wanted from me. Jimmy's about to watch this when he gets out and feels so <laughs> dumb. Depression. At this point, the bright lights were starting to get to me. I have a ginormous headache right now and I'm so hungry. What is going on to my body? Well, he did ask for more food, even though he is getting all the calories he needs. But the reason for that is that he's so understimulated, he thinks he's starving. I ended up checking for food over and over and over again. This is oddly soothing. Do you think I'd get a concussion from doing this? You yeah. should probably stop. You're right. I should probably stop. There's a bag of McDonald's. Oh, do you think, that, do you think that's a sound? Do you think, hold up, I don't know if you guys could hear that. I should probably stop. There's a bad- I'd give up after an hour. If that, if that, you know that, you know when the, there's really bright lights and it makes that I could not, I could not last that. That sound alone would make me leave after a day. I got McDonald's here. It's suspiciously light. If there is not McDonald's in this bag, I'm going to be depressed. There actually is. Let's go. 
Every time I get a meal, it's like 20 minutes of just pure happiness. I feel human again. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I'm so happy. And then the second I finish it, I feel a wave of depression. And then, and then he loses his mind. He goes, they've poisoned it. <laughs> they've poisoned. Maybe, maybe they're trying to get rid of me. And he starts fucking, he starts gagging himself. And because I'm like, what do I do now? They know I would eat the McDonald's in this challenge. I knew Nolan was trying to get rid of me. <laughs> the seconds are starting to blend together so much. I would try to guess what time it is, but I have no earth. Oh my God. No. Or say he lost his mind during the spaghetti thing. And he's like, maybe they wanted me to spell something out. And he just starts throwing up <laughs> and like muddling through the vomit. He's like, oh, here it is. Oh, wait, no, that's a grain of rice. The idea. My mind is slowly deforming into stupidity. I need to occupy myself better. We're going to grab this McDonald's cheeseburger wrapper, as well as this cup that was holding my toothbrush. And now we have basketball. LeBron, Steph, Kobe. Maybe basketball is not my thing. I think I was always better at baseball. I wouldn't be able to stop. See, that's something, that's my issue, is say I, say this, I wasn't even in white room torture. Say I just set this up and I was like, I'm going to shoot for this basket. I wouldn't be able to physically stop until I made it. Otherwise, I would start freaking out. Like, I, like it would really bother me if I was just like, okay, I have to go. Maybe basketball is not my thing. I think I was always better at baseball. Strike! That was not what was supposed to happen. And then I remembered, look what I, oh, there's a fork on it. That I had an indestructible plate from my very first meal. I am going to throw this so far, it is hilarious. <laughs> I'm bored. I still have two days left inside this room, and I have a feeling at some point, I'm gonna wanna leave. It's and day four. No matter how much I beg, or scream, or plead, <laughs> Or burp. Do not let me out of this room early. Okay, Jimmy, I got you. Don't let him out early? Oh, shit. Instincts tell me I've so far done 113 hours, which means I have 55 hours remaining. And whoever's editing this, show them how many hours I actually have remaining. Hopefully, it's somewhere close to 55 hours. I think he's gonna- He's like a day off. That's not that bad. To get angry and possibly paranoid about what's going on. Is a man not allowed to have privacy? There's a camera there, there's a camera above that, there's a camera, 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 camera. There's so many cameras on me 24 seven. I'm going to go insane! What if we throw the camera through the convey? Genius. I treat it like bowling. No, he's gonna break a fucking camera. Somehow I hit my finger. Ow. Ah! Yeah, now he's losing it now. He's losing it now. Dude, that was probably like a fucking $10,000 camera. Severely underestimated how hard this When am I raiding fridges? Uh, I don't know. I need my mods to compile um, like uh, the, the set of the best ones. Maybe tomorrow, if not Friday. It would be. Next Friday. Just thinking about it has me like tearing up. But... I'm not in a rush. I kind of feel like an animal right now. Like, I feel like I lost all my rights as a human. What are you rating shirts? I don't know. I need to also set that up soon. Probably after the fridges. Motor for the sub, ready for the sub. That one guy who asked for the sub. Um, PK, uh, Sin for the sub. Tenzian for the raid. Uh, Bam Space Bobo, Real Ninja for the sub. Up for the three. X for the, uh, for the sub. Pixie for the two. Can you shotgun a G Fuel for us? I don't have any G Fuel in the fridge. Uh, and thank you for the $2,000, uh, or not $2,000, 2,000 biddies. Pixie Frog, I appreciate the fucking 2K biddies. Uh, Mr. TNT and Ivory for the sub. J Thief, uh, Scarcore for the sub. News for the sub. Real and Taker for the sub. Treppy for the three. I think I'm caught up now. Achak for the sub. If I had to guess, I would say I'm halfway through day five. I really miss my girlfriend, and I miss the gang as well. Even Nolan. <laughs> Even Nolan. Mentally right now, I'd say I'm at like literal rock bottom. Like this is very inhumane. I've been in here so long. How long uh, How long did he stay buried alive? That some of my dreams are about I me. I feel like that'd be worse than this. In this room, and I think it's like day six or seven, but then I wake up and realize it was a dream. Somebody said flex. It was also a week. What time is it? I would no, pay so much money hours. to know what. Which would you rather? I feel like that would be worse than this. Which would you guys rather do, buried alive for a, for a week or this for a week? I mean, there's more stimulation being buried alive, but he can't move. I feel like that would call it, that would make me paranoid. 
not being able to move for a week would make me extremely I don't think I could do that for a day. I don't know how he did that so easily. Freaking time it is. Let's go over why I think there are 33 hours left in this challenge. 33? Um, I've slept five times. Ah! Reason number two, I usually poop once a day, and I've also pooped five times since I got in here. Ah! Reason number three, I've grown a lot of hair on my neck here, and this usually does take like a week. If for some reason it's... If for some reason it's still day five, or God forbid, it's somehow still day four, I will lose my mind. While I was sleeping, I had a dream about the one time that I counted to 100,000, and so when I woke up, I decided to do a thousand laps around this room. You know, for what? old time's sake. Why? I'll be the marker. One. Watching Two, back this footage, three. it's literally oh, it was 50 hours. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, seven days. Crazy. Ever, I resorted to walking in circles to keep myself sane. A thousand is way too many. I'm already starting to get dizzy. This entire challenge, I've been getting water out of this sink, and I'm gonna be honest. This uh, this in, it. I'm not, bro. Circle is a flavor cartridge you can screw on your water bottle. It makes bland water. You trying to do an ad read six days in? Why do you do that off rip? Oh my god! Try to get out an ad read after you're fucking losing your mind. Let me tell you about honey. Honey? <laughs> he, just, he just stares. That's the ad, they just leave it in. It tastes amazing. There's over a hundred different flavors that fit this bottle that are all zero calories and zero sugar. <sighs> Moving this tripod is miserable. <clears throat> Choose how intense you want the flavor <laughs> and then start drinking away. It honestly adds so much flavor, I can't even tell it's sink water. I've been drinking- Do those, do those work? I want to do an ad for one of those because I want I want to try it. Like, I do they work? Yeah. I feel like it depends on the brand too. There's different brands. Fruit punch throughout this entire challenge. And it yeah, actually I have one. Which one? Air up? I feel like that's the most known one. I've never heard of circle. Makes the water taste amazing. Um, I'm gonna walk back and forth between these walls. These cartridges also last for multiple refills of your water bottle, which is good because the boys They're suck expensive. At how much are they? No way. I, I mean like and how long does it, it last? Because it's air. Air up. I'm going to Google it. You get five flavor flavors for $44. But, like, how long does a flavor last? Like, how many, how many full water bottles are you getting out of, like, a, a ring? And sending these, and sometimes I got... A week use? So seven, so seven days. Uh, use the same one three uses for a whole day if you want to start drinking more water or just want your water to start tasting good in general go to drinkcircle.com or your local walmart to give and it a that's try technically worth it if it works that's technically worth it because that's cheaper than flavored drinks I, i've tried everything to keep myself entertained and i'm gonna be honest it's not working and after i finished all my circles carl brought back two people from 100 days trapped together uh, we're here. Hey, check it out. You guys are going to love this. That's the face of the guy that trapped you guys for 100 days. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this is easier or harder than what you guys did? In comparison, I think I'd rather have, like, someone else in it with me. And now that the tables had turned and I was the one inside the white cube, Bailey and Susie got their revenge. So I'll show you guys how the conveyor belt works. They sent an empty tray. He's about to freak out. I don't feel bad at all. This is what he gets. I bet every dollar in my bank account, Carl just showed up. No way! <laughs> you hungry? I would love to have those trays, though. I would start making pyramids out of them and shit. Jimmy! Eat this! They're definitely together. You think they started dating? Dude, I mean, if you're trapped for 100 days with somebody in a room alone, they might build a, a connection. We're not doing this again. We are not doing this. We're not doing this. This is the most simulation he's had in days. He's married? I'm not talking about Jimmy. He has a wife. Who does? This guy? Well, you gotta give him credit. I probably deserve that. 
Just imagine this is what happens after you die. You just ah, go that's a, yo, oh, that is a terrible thought to have in White Room Torture. Holy shit. That, that's, now it's downhill. Now it's immediately downhill from there. Imagine this is what it, death is like. I, yo, that would, tr I, I'd immediately start freaking the fuck out. A white room like this forever? Nah, I mean, I don't know. Would I rather, would I rather there be nothing or be in a white room forever at post death? Probably nothing. White room would be pretty brutal. Because you just be alone forever. Look at the bed, ew. Why are you saying ew? Oh, is he getting stained from his sweat and shit? Do you die? Just go it is. It's yellow. Maybe he pissed the bed. I doubt it. They just haven't washed it. He's been laying in the bed for a week. Go to a white room like this forever. That would be miserable. When I sleep, I dream of me in the outside world. And when I'm awake, I'm just depressed lonely and to be honest miserable so the more time i spend sleeping <laughs> the happier i am <laughs> let me out i'm better i feel dead i really need to get out of here we did seven days on a raft i did seven days buried alive and now seven days in solitary yo seven days on a raft though seems fun like, that doesn't even seem bad. If I, if I had known how hard this would be, I never would have done this. If that hour number in the top left says anything higher than 20, I'm gonna Ooh. lose my mind. I am feeling extremely lonely. I, I miss my girlfriend. This is torture. Is he crying? He's not doing well. He's just like napping on the floor, throwing things, having tantrums, getting happy when he gets snacks. He's I would like get mad. There would be a moment where you'd get really mad. You start punching shit. I think there's eight hours left and then they're going to open that door right there. And I am free. <laughs> I hope I pray. Please. We got another fucking day. Eight hours. He thinks he's sleeping through the last couple hours right now. That's what he thinks this is. So it's going to be a rude awakening. Yeah. Literally. To be honest, it's concerning. You would get, also start really, he's overestimating how long he's been there. And then once that moment passes where you think you should leave, you're going to extremely underestimate it. Like right now he thinks he has eight hours left, but he has 30. When eight hours pass in his mind, he's going to say, maybe I've been in here for like three days. Because you wouldn't know. He has no way of knowing. Like, he, he will not. I mean, he really might. Like, he might be like, dude, I have, I've been in here for like four days. Like, I have three more. Give it maybe another two to three hours. And then Your armpit's bleeding. Uh, no, it's not. Those are stretch marks. Oh, that blood. Door opens. So I'm going to enjoy my last meal. And then we're getting out of here. Did he just say it's his last meal? I think so. Well, that's ironic because it's literally exactly 24. Any hour now, they're gonna be walking through that door. So I'm gonna clean up the place. It's a little messy, you know. I was trying to make up an excuse to clean, but in reality, I'm just bored. I thought coming into this experiment, I would get more mental clarity. Maybe learn a little bit about myself. Dan, he threw them the fries on the floor. But in reality, all I'm walking away with is the newfound skill of being able to throw things out a conveyor belt door. Or maybe not. There is just no world where there's more than 24 hours left. I can't do another 24 hours. Do I think he's gonna finish? Yeah. I don't think I don't think they'll pull him. He looks like he's about to cry though. Here, I'm at my limit, but it doesn't even matter. There's you shave your armpits, yeah. Just not 24 hours left. I just don't, I, I refuse to believe that. So any second now, any second now, any second now. To pass the time, I'm gonna resume counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11, no one's watching 12, him? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 5,423, 5,424, 5,425. This is really well edited. I swear to God, I heard something out there. 
It's not them. No. No. I'm sad. I'm sad. I am sad. I am sad. I don't want to be here. Get me out of this. I'm a, but if I'm Jimmy, all I'm going to be thinking about. 80 million fucking views. Uh, 80 million fucking views. Money. If when I'm out of this, I can buy a Lamborghini. I don't want to be here. This is barely human. He's lying in bed, covering his eyes, no excitement. This is totally not what you want to see. How is he going to act? Is he going to be a new human? I'm worried he's going to be this human. He's just collapsed into dysfunction. We've never pushed him as far as he has pushed in this video. Well, because he's been totally deprived of any human contact. Be gentle, like a little kid waking up from a nap. Well, there's 10 minutes left, so let's go get ready. Thank you. Good luck. He attacks Carl, just fucking kills I'm him. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, I don't even have pants on. Hold up, I'm fucking naked. Just grabs Carl, brings him in there. Oh my god. Hey, Jimmy. Sorry, I was just putting my pants on. It's not as bright out here. How is it, dude? I'm actually kind of lightheaded. You know, it's crazy, but after this challenge, I kind of forgot how to interact with humans. Where are you going? <laughs> it's actually relieving to not stare at a bright light. It's like the ceiling is awesome. He's the happiest I've seen you in a long time. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was perpetually just- He forgets who, he forgets who Nolan is. It's gonna be 24 hours forever. What's your name? Who are you? Follow me outside. I want to see the sun. Oh my god. It's oh, it's pitch black outside. It's dark out. So nice to see the outside world. All right, and now you have to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow, Jimmy. It's 2 a.m. We're all going to sleep. One time, one reason. Uh, Walco and Pressy, the big steak for the sun. I'm Zaltz for the five. I've been struggling with life with the constant stress of having two jobs. Thanks for putting a uh, smile on my face uh, or, or making me smile today. Uh, and for however long uh, I've been watching you. Bro, thank you for the nice message. And I'm sorry you're dealing with that shit. Uh, struggling with two jobs and shit. Uh, I hope it gets better. John and Vic for the sub. Dr. G's for the three. Uh, if you went for a long sleep and died under the covers and they don't realize and the food starts piling up, well, they would see that he's not moving on the cameras. A chalk and motor for the sub. Brady, that one guy for the sub. Like, if he didn't move for, like, four hours... And he clearly wasn't sleeping. They'd be like, uh, Jimmy? Wonton for the sub. All right, chat. I got to go pee real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll start the next video. That was a W, though. Count me down. 30 seconds, chat. I got to go piss. Hold up. Yo, where's that, uh, hold up. You're the Tetris fan club guy, uh, that had trouble with merch. Uh, my management asked if you sent it to the right address, like it's not a human error with shipping or anything, just to make sure first. Uh, Joseph for the three, how many jobs did you have before, uh, coming a full-time streamer? Uh, full-time streamer... <sighs> like three, maybe? Uh, like, two, like two legitimate. 
Um, hold up. <sighs> Obviously, I used to do, um... Somebody said, did you wipe? I didn't fucking take a shit. Uh, I used to do yard work. You know how a lot of guys just do, like, fucking, uh... Like, landscaping type shit with, like, an uncle or something like that. Um... GNC was the biggest thing, was the thing right before. That was, like, the first, like, like tax-formulated job. And then I did some under-the-table stuff um, where you just kind of work hourly and they'll pay you in cash. Uh, then started college. Or not started college. But senior year of COVID hit. That's when I started TikTok. Quit at GNC. Uh, started doing TikTok more. Started making money from that. Did that. College started up. Didn't dorm, so I was, like, alone the whole first year. That was awful. That was, like, hell. Like, early, early late 2020, early 2021 was, like, hell for me. Uh, or early, late 2020, early 2021, yeah. Um, that was, like, my freshman year in college. Uh, and I literally just streamed and did YouTube and TikTok. But I also used to stream less. When I started streaming, I would stream for, like, an hour. If this was like 2020 Joe Bart, I would have already ended my stream. Pixie for the three. What is under the table stuff? Like they pay you in cash. Cloak for the three. Should all of the merch been sent out by now? Mind, I don't have mine. Not sent out, but it should have at least been, you, you should have gotten an update. One ton, one brazen, walk out and press you for the sub. The big thing for the sub. Um... All right, chat, lock in. Max video. 5.3K uh, 5 viewers? Yeah, W chat today. Fucking 5K viewers. I don't think I had 5K viewers since July, uh, which is nuts. So thank you to everybody that fucking tuned into the stream. I'm glad I'm back. Uh, and thank you to everybody that fucking tuned in, man. I appreciate that. Twitch is up and down. January is usually an up month, but I really did not expect this many people to be here today. Hon honest fucking dub from, uh, or for y'all. I appreciate y'all. All right. Lock in. Next vid. I searched 100 thrift stores. Uh, a Jack Pembroke video. You see it all the time. People going to thrift stores and finding insane valuables for a fraction of the price. On the internet, I see that shit. I've been to my fair share of fucking Goodwills and Salvation Armies. And every time I go... There is shit. It is, uh, yeah, maybe a cool leather jacket here and there. Uh, outside of that, it's one shoe, uh, used lingerie, um, pants that don't fit, shit like that. They have, they have some good stuff at Goodwill, right? Like, it's just, like, stuff that people have have given them to sell, right? And so, yeah, you'll find some cool pants, shirts, shit like that. But, I mean, for the most part, you're not going to find anything crazy. But I always see over the internet somebody being like, I found this pair of fucking Jordan 1s that's selling for fucking five grand that I found at Goodwill. Number one, who the fuck is trading in Jordan 1s at a fucking Goodwill? What Goodwill do you go to? Because the Goodwill I go to uh, they're selling shoes without the soles on the bottom. That's the fucking shit they're selling. They're selling shit that they probably shouldn't even be fucking selling. That or it'll be like, I found a record that's fucking 10 grand. I'll be like, what the fuck? TNS and Ann for the sub, the turtle for the five. I feel like if I was giving stuff to Goodwill, I would check the value of my 1920 Elvis record that is in pristine condition before I hand it over to Goodwill for fucking free. Invixity, uh, a Keller, and Sn Snivy for the sub. For Goodwill to sell it for $10 to some fucking guy that just goes thrift store to thrift store trying to flip shit. Don't believe me? Well, this dude found a literal golden egg at a thrift store and sold it for $33 million. And you're telling me the Goodwill worker that put that bitch on the shelf wasn't like, huh, oh, this looks valuable. You're telling me there, there's a person that set that up 
that set that fucking golden egg up. And they're selling that bitch for $40. Because they'll sell, it's like everything's blanketed, right? Like some shirts, like all shirts are sold for a blanketed price. Some like furniture they sell for different, but it's never like fucking crazy. Like they might sell a couch for like 200 bucks, right? 100 bucks. And it's like a nice, not like a, a, an original $5,000 couch, right? But you're telling me this person put that bitch on the fucking uh, the shelf to sell, and they were like, this is literally a solid gold egg. Super for the sub caveat for the three. I'm actually a girl viewer from Vietnam. I've been watching you on YouTube for uh, half a year, but this is the first time in stream because the time when you start stream is 3.30 a.m. in Vietnam, so I can't really stay up. I'm sorry to hear that. I have to work in the morning. Uh, I love your content. It helped me a lot with my English. Thank you for being a great streamer, and I love your positivity and your advice. As much love from Vietnam. W fucking chatter. Thank you for the nice message, uh, and thank you for the biddies, and I'm glad that I can help. Pixie for the three. And I'm sorry that uh, we're in different time zones you can't watch often. JJ gave Red Octobers to Goodwill, 29K. Snivy for the sub. Was it for a video or just in general? Except when I go, I never find anything. So today I'm searching 100 thrift stores to see if I can turn a profit and become filthy rich. And so I wasted no time and started thrifting. After searching through some junk, I finally... Yeah, that's a thrift store. A fucking snow globe. A snow globe with the year 2014 written on it. Somebody's, somebody's graduating high school class t-shirt. From like 98. Like, and they gave the, and, and Goodwill selling it. And through some junk, I finally found an interesting item. Look at this. Whoa, this is actually old. And so I looked it up on eBay, which is the whole strategy I'll be using. I learned through some professionals online that you can look up an item on eBay and see what it last sold for. Boron tennis racket. Have no idea what this is. One sold yesterday for $150 which means we're rich, basically. I think we could sell it on eBay for at least $100, which means we can make about $90 on this. We have 99 more stores to go. Nah, but now I'm getting a vibe from Storage Wars. Y'all remember Storage Wars? They'd walk into that bitch. they say, I could sell that for $180. And it's a fucking, it's a drawer with three out of the four legs. I'm like, I'm like, that's fucking broken. That's, that's, that, that doesn't even stand. And you're telling me you're going to sell that. How, who's buying that? Who? So, let's get going. The next few thrift stores were pretty weak. Hey, there's no filming in the store, bro. But eventually, we came up on our next items. Golf Master. If that's not expensive, I don't know what is. Buying used Uno. Uh, 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 Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, that's not a bad fucking business idea for a game. Came up on our next items. Triple Yahtzee. Yo, yo, you didn't peep that in the back? Yo, Jack, grab that. Snatch that up. Snatch that up. You know, you know the family that turned that in had some crazy nights with Triple Yahtzee. Came up on our next items. Golf Master. If that's not expensive, I don't know what is. I see a lot of these on eBay going for $24.99. I found another Wilson Club, so I'm picking that up. I looked up this golf club. That means we have three golf clubs. That can be pretty good for our total. At the end of the video, I'm going to list all the items on eBay and see how much we can actually make. Let's just say... But like, who's buying golf clubs off eBay from the fucking 1960s? The fucking old wooden club. No one, no one wants that. Mr. Bezos might have some competition. <laughs> a anything's possible. Dr. Phil Mug, we all know him. We all love it. Good old Dr. Phil. We could probably make like $14 on this. So we're going to get it. And it's covered in miscellaneous gook. Is that the sticker, maybe? I'm getting quicker. I'm getting more efficient. I know where to go when I enter the stores now. It's clockwork. Speaking of clocks. That looks nice. It's going for $6, and on eBay, it looks like it goes for around $50. So we're getting this for sure. And then we kept on searching and searching and searching, but we weren't finding anything. And to be honest, That's I Goodwill. That's Goodwill. Just a row of jeans. Just jeans. A lot of jeans that don't fit them anymore, and they get rid of them. Finding anything and you can get some crazy shit at Goodwill though. I got a nice leather jacket one time for like fucking 20 bucks. To be honest, I started to realize how hard this was actually gonna be. 
I'm feeling so bad right now. I never find anything at thrift stores to begin with, but this is putting it into a new perspective. Either I'm cursed or the people that are finding stuff on the internet are the luckiest people alive. All I'm gonna do is keep thrifting. Let's go. I just kept remembering that one quote uh, from Jake the dog. Cause he always said, sucking at something is the first step towards being sorta of good at something. So we kept searching and lo and behold- oh, Unless you're fucking menace. Unless you're fucking menace like Tyler Ninja Blevins and you picked up that fucking Fortnite keyboard and got a fucking Insta 40 kill squad wipe like it was nothing. We came across an item. So I just found three 22 karat hand painted plates. They go for like $15 a piece. I'm gonna grab these. I found this Tigger mug. It's only $1.99 and it's going for $16 on eBay. <sighs> so basically what's happening is. <sighs> Did that scare you? <laughs> Sorry. I think he just contracted 10 diseases. I he just put on a mask at a thrift store. Jack just wore a used Halloween mask that's been sitting in a Goodwill. That's like putting on a hat. Like wearing a hat that you found at a Goodwill. You have lice. You now have head bugs. I think we might have found something. This right here is a lacrosse helmet. They're selling it for $8. I went on eBay and they're selling for upwards of $100. I think we could make some really good profit on this. It's literally dark outside. We're gonna stay on the grind till 9 o'clock p.m. Imagine he buys all this shit and nothing sells on eBay. That would fucking suck. That's when they all close. You know the drill. Let's go. We absolutely attacked the next thrift stores with the intention of profit. Store after store, we were finding nothing, but like always- How many thrift stores are near y'all? Like, I know he might live in Cali or some shit, but a hundred thrift stores. I feel like that's like a state. Like, how many thrift stores- There's probably like two or three. We finally Maybe came four. across an absolute jet. Like in came a across single city, this probably like two or three. Green hat right here. Five dollars. And I looked it up. Somebody just said, I have a dollar general I steal from. And they sell for like $50. People love this company, Supreme. Okay, we're buying this. You steal from a dollar general? A dollar general. Like... Now don't, I, I'm not, I'm not advocating for you stealing, right? I, you should not steal. But you're stealing from a dollar general. All right, boys. <laughs> like, what are you taking? What's the, at a dollar general that you would want? Like, other than snacks. Toilet paper? Toothpaste? I gotta take this hat off, dude. <laughs> found this Lego chip. Bread mostly. They sell bread at Dollar General. And plus I feel like they sell like Cheetos. It's going for upwards of $30 on eBay. You can't go wrong with that, dude. Here's the plan. We're gonna hit as many thrift stores as we can till 9 p.m. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get to the car now. Right now, where are we? I don't even know what city we're in. As the night came to an end and more thrift stores were closing, we powered through as many as possible, but we weren't finding anything, which leads me to the last Goodwill of the night. I'm so exhausted. Let's end off the night right. I searched this thrift store like no tomorrow, but ended up finding literally nothing. Bruh. I think that'd be most of them. We're gonna leave now. Ugh. Like if you went to a hundred Goodwills, you might find like a few good things at like 10 of them. The majority of Goodwills or just fucking thrift stores in general are going to have just shit. Not shit, but not something that's worth what they're selling it for. We searched 50 thrift stores, which was our goal, and we hit it barely. Tomorrow is going to be crazy, and I'll tell you why. I found this thing on the internet that basically tells you where the highest income areas are. Because I've heard that the Oh, yeah, that's where you got to go. Oh, that makes perfect sense. You go to the fucking rich people Goodwills. Because if you're going to a fucking poor people goodwill, it's just going to be shit. It's just going to be fucking ass. Which is like most goodwills. You got to go to like Beverly Hills goodwill. You're going to find a fucking sports car in the back. Charlie the Shrimp for the 5k fucking biddies. Thank you for the 5k biddies. Dub in the chat for that shit, Charlie the fucking Shrimp. Thank you for the 5,000 biddies. He says, Joe Mama. Ha ha.
Kevin and the Gubbler for the sub twin for the three. Have you ever tried Dubby Energy? No, I don't even know what that is. Snivy for the four. Thoughts on the NHL or any teams? I don't watch the NHL uh, at all, really, like ever. I don't think I've ever watched a hockey game fully. Spooby for the four. Getting over COVID, uh, still have it uh, for almost three weeks. You had it for three weeks? Did you ever watch the DID video? No, I might watch it tomorrow. Uh, I've been getting worse in mental health. You've really helped me through it. It's been almost uh, three to four years clean, and you've really helped. I mean, I'm glad I could help. Sorry for the long message. No need to apologize. Thank you for the pities. Uh, and I'm sorry you're going through some shit, but I'm glad I could help. Super for the sub, the small for the three. Uh, Cavi for the three. I already read that. Uh, and Charlie, thank you for the 5K biddies again, says Joe Mama. It's not funny. It's not funny. You sent me 5,000 biddies to say Joe Mama. Thank you for the 5K biddies. That's not funny. Thank you for the 5,000 biddies, though. Thrift stores are in the richest areas. So tomorrow we're going to go to the richest areas. And if that's true, we might just come out on top tomorrow. Let's go thrifting. <laughs> and so we embarked on a two-hour drive to Los... Oh my god, I gotta blow my nose again. <laughs> and so we embarked on a two-hour drive to Los... I'm seriously convinced... No way, that's a real fucking a video. Oh, a key key for the sub. That everybody that lives here is rich, and honestly, I want a part of it. But if so I need to blow my nose, chat. I'm sorry, it's stuck. It's stuck. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Also. I bought this at a Walgreens. Twapper and Benji for the sub. Somehow that doesn't work. I do have one secret weapon. But we'll, we'll get to that later. First thrift store of the day. We're in a place called Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. It's a really wealthy area. So these thrift stores are supposed to have some crazy stuff in them. So we're going to find out. I immediately realized that the stores in this area were a whole lot bigger. And it also seemed like the selection of items was a lot better. So hopefully we can find some pretty big... Who would get rid of a Yoda plushie? What the fuck? Lot better so hopefully we can find some pretty big items that'll help us add up to that big total at the end of the video we got these gray adidas shoes they're only ten dollars but i looked them up on ebay so it looks like they go for around fifty dollars so i think we can make some decent profit on these this is a wizard of oz glasses set they're only 7.99 they're going those definitely have wet in them you definitely are gonna fucking die if you drink water out of those wizard of oz First, first movie that was fucking color or whatever. Yeah, no, those have, uh, those, that's lead paint. Both like $30. We're getting them 100%. All right. After those last couple items, I was feeling pretty good. That is until we hit a little something I like to call the dry spell of a lifetime. We hit an ungodly amount of stores without finding a single item. Actually so bad, dude. It's really times like these where I push myself mentally. I honestly think you'd be surprised how hard it is to search a hundred thrift stores. But we were already so far- And how do you know what to look up on eBay? How do you look this up on eBay? Hold on. These where I push myself mentally. I honestly think you'd be surprised how hard it is. How are you looking any of these things up on eBay? If you see this elephant here, what are you looking up? Elephant, elephant statue. You take a picture of it. No way it fucking shows up if you take a picture of it. That's a thing. That's a thing. If I take a picture of a product on eBay, it will show me. It will show me the other I images that are similar. What? No way you could shop like that, bro. I didn't know it was that simple. Charlie the shrimp for another five k bitty says Joe Mama.
Say something else. What is the point of giving bits if you're just going to say that shit? Oh, my God. Benji for the fucking sub, though. And Charlie, thank you for the 5,000 buddies. ...to search 100 thrift stores. But we were already so far in that there was no going back. And eventually, after way too long, we finally found something. These are actually really good. These right here are Adidas Forum shoes, they're called. These are only $10, and they sell on eBay for $80. I'll take anything I can get at this point. I'm getting these. I found this mug here. It goes for $15 on eBay. It's only $2.99, so I'm buying this. What is that? Is that a show? And we're going to profit off this. Hopefully. Hopefully is the big word here. Lakers hat just found it. It's only $6, but it's $25 on eBay. That's a lot of money right there. That's a lot of profit. I'm going to get this. All right, so we kept searching. Somebody said ungrateful streamer. Oh, brother. Dude. What? 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 How? Charlie the Shrimp's a fucking goat. All I said was that he should set it, say another message. He's sending me 5,000 fucking biddies. Man's a goddamn goat for that. Appreciate the fuck out of Charlie. Dubbing the chat for Charlie again, right? I was just letting him know. You know, if you're going to send 5,000 biddies, you can say something other than Joe Mama, you know? Ungrateful. I read every donation I get. Go donate to a big streamer. And watch them go donate $100 to a big streamer and watch them not even read your name. The fuck you mean ungrateful? Bricer for the three. Bet you can't say specific, specific five times times. I'm not doing that again. You're just trying to make me seem stupid. And then they say nothing in response. Buddy. Up and out. Thank you for the th thousand biddies, says L Chatter. But I, I'm not mad at him, but I'm just like, I want to let you know I'm not ungrateful, dude. I love my chat. I appreciate my chat so much. I think I'm thankful to everybody that follows, subs, donos, etc. Even if you just watch me, I, I am appreciative of you, right? I understand not everybody has money. Not everybody can donate. Not everybody has expendable income. And for that, I always say, hey, you know, you can just watch the stream and I appreciate you. Charlie for another 5K biddies! Says, what am I supposed to say besides that? Whatever the fuck you want that's within chat rules. I don't know. You don't have to say, you can continue saying Joe Mama if you want, right? I'm not going to make you not say Joe Mama. But I'm letting you know you can type a message outside of Joe Mama in a fucking bit down now. Charlie the Shrimp, thank you for the fucking 5,000 bitties. What the fuck? How love for the sub Noah for the four. No for the four. No. Now the dead pancake for the four. Best time to thrift is after Christmas when everybody's getting gifts, uh, rid of gifts that they don't want. That is true. Sorry, I'm lagging. I'm responding to a friend. Akron for the sub. All right. Lock back in chat. <laughs> and the next stores were just pure agony. I'm calling this my delusional face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delusional. <laughs> you, miss, <clears throat> you missed Bilbo's biddies? Bilbo sent me bits? Oh, Bilbo did send me a thousand biddies. Thanks, man. You've got me through a lot of stuff. Watch you every night before bed. Dub, dude. Thank you for the fucking thousand biddies. I'm sorry I missed your bits. Smith and uh, Mirzuan for the sub. Olio for the, or Olio for the sub. Bryce for the three. Says play Minecraft VR. No. Eh, maybe. Akron for the sub. Not today, though. I, I, I'm, I'm already doing so much Minecraft in the next month. Charlie, think of the uh, 5,000 bettys again. Don't mind us over here. All right. We hit another massive dry streak, which wasn't helping, and the night was quickly coming to an end. Luckily, I still have my secret weapon. As I searched the last doors of the night, I struck gold. This has banger potential right here. Ogre mug from... The classic film Shrek. If you the don't wear ogre, Zaddy Cash. Thank you for the five fucking gifteds. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you if you get a sub. Thank you for the five gifted Zaddy Cash. I appreciate that chat. EFC for the four. Says the smile. Uh, put a smiley face and uh, mirrors for the sub. And dude, Charlie, thank you for the fucking bets again, man. I don't like Shrek. I don't like you. I'm gonna look this guy up. 
This is our best item. What? No what? way that's their best item. What? I would walk past that assuming that's worth fucking nothing. Sold less than a week ago for $53 for a mug. And the one before. Who's buying that? We sold it for $65. We're selling it for $2. We actually just struck gold in the last store. What are the odds of that? Oh, the timing, bro. It's my favorite one, too, on top of it. Yeah, I literally love this mug, and it seemed like everybody else did, too. Uh, oh, that's, that's pretty, that is pretty this cool. Is, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of it, so. You're probably wondering, what about the 100th? That's the secret weapon. I can't tell you, though. Let's go. The secret weapon? What store do you think he's gonna go to? Daddy Cash for another five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted. Thank you for the kind of sub. Thank you for the five gifted. Price for the three. What's more terrifying to be alone in the universe or not be alone in the universe? Be alone. Not being alone in the universe is not that terrifying. Being alone is terrifying. Elimination for the three. Akron for the three. <clears throat> Bilbo for the three. Salty for the sub. I believe that the United States government has already seen aliens. But I, if, if we're holding the hypothetical that aliens do not exist, we that means that we are the only life, not only in Earth or our solar system or our, in our galaxy, but ever, which is scary. More scary than there being aliens that are more intelligent than us that might kill us. Wasn't it confirmed? Yeah, but there's people that still say that it's not true. Andre for the sub. Okay, we just arrived. It's time for the secret weapon. This is our last chance to make as much profit as we possibly can. Uh, it's a little place called the Goodwill Vents. And let me just say, this place is no- Oh, isn't this a place where you only have a certain amount of time and you like sift through it or some shit? Zaddy, thank you for the five gifteds again. Thank you for the sub, thank you for the five gifted. Seven and seven for the three. It's fucking snowing where I am. That's sick. No joke. It's basically a super discounted thrift store where the items are sold by the pound. Only true thrift professionals go here. I'm talking full-time resellers. You know, the types of guys that wear outfits like this. Bruh. There's also a long list of rules you have to follow, including no fighting, no aggressive behavior, and no pushing. These people are not messing around because you should see what people are finding here. And if this is all true, we might just end up rich. Here we go. I'm nervous. But you have to have expertise to go here. Like you have to know how something, how expensive something is by just looking at it. Uh, I've heard a lot of scary things about this place, so. So I walk in there and immediately the vibe is just stressful. Everybody is lined up on both sides of the building and apparently new bins are brought out every 20 minutes. So I got in line with the rest of the people and started waiting. I was getting looks from every direction. Oh yeah, half of these motherfuckers look like hype beasts. That man definitely sells fucking shoes on the side. He bots fucking Jordan 1 uh, releases. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, bought, he bots shoe sales. Where is he? That guy right there. That guy right there fucking sells shoes. He is lined up on both sides of the building. And he got a hundred pairs of fucking... He got a, what's like a shitty pair of fucking Jordans? Satan shattered black... Wait, no, those are a thousand dollars. Never mind. The panda dunks? Panda dunks? Do they look bad? They just look like... I don't like these. People wear these ev everywhere I go. And I think they're so ugly. I have like three friends that have these shoes. I don't like these shoes. Do you guys like these? They just... They're just... Ugh, they're just so nothing. TJ for the sub. I think that's why people like them, though, because they just match anything. You could wear this with fucking anything. For the 10, love your videos. I've been sick for a while. Uh, you always make me laugh. A rose. Thank you for the fucking $10 dono, a rose. Or a, a rose? A rose? A rose? I don't know how you say your name. Thank you for the 10. Zaddy Cash for the five gift. It's Charlie for the thousand buddies. How many bets for you to throw it back? I don't know. I haven't thrown it back in a while. I'm kind of uh, rusty. Lugar for the 10. You're one of the most grateful streamers out there. I don't know what that person's talking about. Thank you. Thank you for the 10, Lugar. 
Uh, T down for the thousand videos. Love your streams. I don't chat a lot because uh, I watch on my TV detection, bringing up the mood. Have you seen the video of the girl streamer getting mad for chat not donating? Yeah, that was years ago, though. Uh, can you look at my Twitch uh, dream? Uh, can you look at my Twitch dream? It's my username. What? Oh, you're live. He's playing 2K. Exua for uh, the 300 biddies. Uh, JP for the sub. Uh, TJ for the sub. Uh, is it just silent? And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Ball. Pacers with a rebound. Smith's got rebound number seven tonight. Here's the dude. Sends it home three. from three-point land. For three! bins are brought out every 20 minutes so I got in line with the rest of the people and started waiting I was getting looks from every direction and I felt extremely uncomfortable after waiting for about five minutes it was time but first I want to tell you guys thank you I really am super proud of what we've built on this channel Dude, he's gotten big quick fucking W Jack by the way in the chat 173k subs he's been doing YouTube for like four months pro for the sub king for the five would you be more terrified about being alone for possibly from possibly high intelligent beings that could be dangerous? Why would you be more terrified about being alone from possibly highly intelligent beings that could be more dangerous? Because us being alone gives us even less meaning. We're social creatures. If if we live in the universe and we're nothing, and we're or not nothing, we're alone. That's sad, right? And it also puts a lot of pressure. Whereas if there are aliens that are also highly intelligent, that makes us less special, but it also makes us, you know, a part of something bigger. If there are aliens, we're a part of something bigger, in my mind. But if we're alone, then it's just some creepy off chance that we're here. Ari for the sub. Grow your hair out? No, my hair looks like shit right now. Each and every one of you guys is helping me achieve my dreams to become a YouTuber. And if you guys didn't know, we have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We only have like a month left, so if you guys would consider subscribing, it would really mean the world. But seriously, I need you guys to see these bins because it's crazy. People were running and pushing. I felt like I was in a battle royale game. I was desperately... Somebody said, who do you think will be on the Epstein list? Didn't they already release it? A lot of presidents, Trump, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. I don't know. Billionaires. Jim Carrey, maybe. Eminem. Eminem. I don't know about Eminem. Stephen Hawking's on it. Yeah, I already saw that. Didn't they already release the list? Or am I crazy? I thought they already released that, like, years ago, too. Or no. Ne uh, Necro for the sub. Or they just recently did. Who's... I'm literally going to Google it. Who's on the Epstein list? Full list of names revealed. Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Hillary... John Connolly, Al Gore, Al Gore, Jackson, Hawking, Kevin Spacey, George Lucas. Isn't that Star Wars guy? Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Really? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I don't know who half of these fucking people are. I'm just re Who's Bob Meister? Tom Leones. I don't know who any of these people are. 
I like I've I've stopped recognizing names. Mark Zeth. Bro's name is Alfredo Rodriguez, Epstein's former household manager. Enforcing for the sub. Sunny day uh, for the sub. Trying to keep up with everybody and search for things. This is so stressful. But I'll be honest, I was struggling. I was also pretty bummed out. Young because Sheldon. Young Sheldon's on the list. At this point, I invested so much time that I didn't want to fail. Dude, I'm not finding anything. After searching relentlessly for hours, I started to kind of just let go and look for things that I just thought were cool. Honestly, once I was able to let go of the whole money thing, I started having the most fun I've had this entire video, and all I was doing was getting things I liked. I mean, check out this Minecraft sword I found. Now, if that isn't a good life lesson, <laughs> I don't know what is. All right, do we think he made money? I think he sold like half the shit. Uh, eBay, eBay stuff could just sit up there for fucking weeks too. Like I know, I, there's no way he just sold everything. Matthew Prude for the sub, Akron for the three. Are you on the Epstein list? No. Didn't Epstein also die when I was in like fucking high school? Epstein, de when did Epstein die? I feel like this is gonna be like a. Oh, he died in 2019. Wow. I thought he died, like, later. I was a junior when he died. What? People claim he didn't die. Dude, he's definitely dead. It's just whether or not he killed himself. That's the conspiracy theory. I don't think anybody's saying that Epstein's still alive. Are there people that think Epstein's still alive? I, th I know a lot of people think he didn't kill himself. And, like, how the security guard and the cameras weren't there or something. It is odd how he died when there was, like, people 24-hour watching him and they weren't watching him when he died. But, like, I don't know if there's people that still think he's living. So, it's been a week since we last listed the items. I think going into this, I didn't realize how hard it uh, was. Zaddy for the three. Jones, you're the first uh, and cuddle team leader and maybe the Raven are on the list. <laughs> the cuddle team leader. Zoka for the three. There's 5.1k people here. Yeah, there's a lot of people in my chat right now. Cousin Humper for the sub. To, be to search a hundred thrift stores. I haven't even looked at the eBay account to see if the items sold. So now I guess uh, oh, it's, it's going to be so depressing if nothing sold. I'm to look at the eBay account and see how much money we made. Three, two, one. Nothing. Mm, All that, that we made zero dollars. That was a bad. Bruh. All right, uh, <laughs> we're never doing that again. That's it. Nothing? No way. He didn't sell one item. Oh, he said update in the in the in the fucking description. Somebody bid twenty five dollars on the Supreme hat. Bro, that fucking sucks. That fucking sucks. And how much money do you think he spent on fucking buying all that shit? That was one of his like not as popular videos too. He has one that with four million views. We still gotta watch. I tested weird store policies. All right. Next video chat. Lock in. Actually scary horror movies. That was a W vid though, regardless. Actually scary horror movies are extremely hard to come by. They're like hidden gems. But when you do find one of these gems, they're life changing. A truly- Yeah, I, I feel like most scary- Ooh, that's a good movie. Oh, The Thing? That's a scary horror movie. Like the premise. What's like the scariest horror movie you guys have ever seen? Cousin Humper, thank you for the 10 fucking gifteds. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Cousin, hu Cousin Humper 74. Always a, a weird username to say, but thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, Cousin Humper. Blitz for the three. What are the chances to get a gifted sub to uh, Zussi, Jojo, Queso, and you within a month now trying to brag? Just curious. I don't know. Uh, the max for the rating. Up and da up and out the way for the 10 gifteds as well. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds. Up and out the way and Cousin Humper. Dumb in the chat for both of those motherfuckers. Thank you for the fucking subs and the individual sub, uh, Cousin Humper.
up and out the way. Thank you for the 10 gifted. All right, what was the scariest movie y'all have ever seen? Smile. Smile is scary. That's a good movie. Like, there are a few good... Like, what's, like, a, a scary movie that people think is scary but isn't scary? Or just sucks? Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, Barbarian was really bad. Barbarian was really bad. And what's really crazy to me is Barbarian had, like, 90% on Rotten Tomatoes and 86 on audience score. And it's about, like, a naked incest monster that just wants to be a mother. And so I understand why it did well on the, the critic review. But it's like, it's really just not a good movie. Chucky, yeah, It, Scream. The Scream, any slasher film, I would immediately say isn't even, I don't think slashers try to be scary though. Like, I don't think there's, are there any scary slasher films? Terrifier. Ter the Terrifier, Terrifier and Terrifier 2 are scary movies and they're just really uncomfortable to watch because he'll like cut somebody vagina down. And that's like, like, after you watch Terrifier and you witness him saw somebody in half from their genitals down and they show the entire scene, it's just like, oh, like I, like, it's just a after that, it's just, you can't even watch it anymore. Crazy cat for the fucking gifted subs. Thank you, crazy cat for the three gifted. Uh, so coach injured Benzo for the sub, uh, cavy for the three. Please read it slowly so I can understand. I'm the Vietnamese girl earlier. I went to the U.S. once on an exchange student trip, and the U.S. is so crazy, especially the racists. A guy in that class asked me, does the tree still talks? It's a Vietnam War reference. I swear to God, when he started to call his other Chinese classmate over and said, you guys are basically siblings. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Uh, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Like, L racist. Holy shit. Uh, a Karen also called me a dog eater, so that's great. At least I held a gun for the first time. That shit is insane, too. Yeah, holding a gun's pretty crazy. Uh, shooting a gun for the first time is, like, nuts. Uh, DC Chaos for the sub. Uh, and Cavi, thank you for the fucking three. Uh, and I'm sorry you had to deal with that shit uh, when you went to the U.S. Uh, I, what I will say, is there a lot of shitty people in the U.S.? Yeah, right? There's a lot of bad people. But there's a, the majority of the people in the U.S. aren't terrible. Right, I would say you met a, ba a lot of bad people, but there are also probably some decent people. But for the most part, yeah, the U.S. people are pretty rude, especially when it comes to, um, like foreigners. Like it, it's just, it's just, I don't know why people are rude or just racist or insensitive, but it's just they are, uh, and it sucks. I'm also wondering what state did you go to, uh, out of the United States? Turd for the three. Watch the theory on Epstein's death later. Dolls for the uh, thousand biddies. The autopsy of Jane Doe was pretty scary. The booty for the thousand biddies. Uh, how does Queso average 50 to 80k viewers, but you average 5k? Broader appeal to a bigger audience. My content's more niche. Not as many people watch my content, right? It's not saying that my content's bad or his content's better. I think his content's amazing. I think my content's fine. It's just the same thing, right? You'll watch 100 viewer streamers that have very loyal audience members. It's just the niche of the content. Kai Sinat, Queso, Jinxy, they appeal to a very broad audience. I don't. Right? Turn for the three. The scary movie will I happen. still appeal to a big audience. 5K viewers is a fucking shitload of people. That still places me in the top 700 of Twitch. Right? Top 10 streamers are the people that you're watching. Queso is a top 10 streamer. He's averaging 50K viewers. That man averages more than the majority of streamers on the planet. Right? Kingstone for the sub. Or Kingston for the sub. Floating for the three. Me and my friends just sit down and spent two days watching the worst rated or even uh, better not rated uh, at all low, budgy, low budget slasher films. That's entertaining though. Watching really shitty movies. No, but that's why. Uh, okay, so uh, he just appeals to a very broad audience. And it's horror. It's like he has the Markiplier vibe. Obviously, he's more like fucking his own personality. I'm not saying he's like Markiplier, but it's like you appeal to a very big audience. Have you immersed? It'll I appeal to more niche one. Like, Queso, Queso in his content is, like, in reference, he could, he could be a Corey Kenshin. He could be a fucking Markiplier. I can't be that. I could be a 5 million sub YouTube channel one day, but that'd be my cap. Like, I'm never gonna hit 10 million subs on, on YouTube. I know that, right? It's the type of content that I make. It's more niche. It will never reach 10 million subs. 
Uh, but that's why. I mean, like, in TikTok, I have a very large audience just because it's TikTok, number one, and my content's just been so broad in the sense that I made, like, 5,000 videos. We'll have your adrenaline pumping. It might even have you. Don't give up. Joe, I'm not giving up. I like where I am. Do I, do I, would I be upset with growth? No. But if I, if I averaged what I do right now for the next five years, I would be perfectly fucking content. I would have zero complaints. If I had the same sub count, same view count, same everything for five years, and I plateaued, I don't care. I would be so happy just because I enjoy streaming. Like, I like my audience ha how it is now. I'm not saying I don't want it to grow, but I'm saying, like, if it didn't and it just stayed the same, I wouldn't complain. Pissing your pants. So today, my people, I'll be talking about horror movies that I genuinely find scary and in the end i'll talk about one of the scariest movies i've seen in my life at least top two and we'll i don't know the scariest movie i've ever seen you guys were listing yours maybe the i mean like the thing it has the scariest idea but i think the scariest movie i've ever seen i don't know about smile the platform, that's also just kind of concept scary. If I'm saying, like, jumps, jump scare or just atmospheric scary, it's probably, like, a psychological horror. You know, like, The Nun. Paranormal Activity. I don't, I think Paranormal Activity just drags on. It's just too much. Without further ado. Oh, The Shining. Eh. I'm starting with this movie first, because... Yeah, we follow this family, mainly the mother, who are mourning the loss of the grandma of the family. When they start witnessing some very peculiar things happen, if you couldn't tell, it's another demon movie. But let's just say this movie gets a little creepier than the other one. Gotcha, this movie's dark atmosphere alone is enough to make me wet the bed. But the scariest part to me has to be that allergy seed. So Charlie, the daughter of the family who, when I first watched it, thought was Dustin from Stranger Things. Shout out my boy Dustin. Well, while she was at a party with her older brother Peter, she gets an allergic reaction to something that causes her to not be able to breathe. And I feel her. I get like this when I eat shrimp. So Peter is speeding to get her to a hospital because she was fighting for her life in that backseat. Somebody throw her a med kit. And since Charlie couldn't breathe, she takes her head out the window to breathe in some of that... That fresh air, you know? But out of nowhere, a deer spawns in the middle of the road and Peter swerves out the way to avoid it. But at the same time... Oh no! Her freaking head came off. Gotcha, Nick! When I first watched it, I was not only in shock that... Yo, I've never seen this movie. Have y'all seen this fucking movie? They did it so early, but they did it to a kid. Peter going home and getting in bed traumatized made ah, it Ah, but that's respectable. Respectable. A good horror movie doesn't stray away from killing children. If it's a good horror movie, you know a really good horror movie? Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. In a movie called Ready or Not, have y'all seen this movie? Premise of the movie. The devil runs this family, or whatever. They sacrifice, they did a sacrifice way back. The, de the demon, the devil is involved with their family. Every time somebody new enters the family, they have to play a game, and they draw a card. And there's like hundreds of cards, right? And half of them are, are it's stupid shit, right? Jenga, fucking Uno. And then there's a, a card called Hide and Seek. And in that card, the family has to hunt the soon-to-be husband or wife and kill them. And if they don't, the devil will kill them. And this girl survives, right? I'm spoiling the movie. And the end scene... Hold up. It's lost. And they think they're not going to die because they, they've never actually seen somebody die. So then... Oh. Will not fail you again. Hold up. That girl still dies! And right there, you're like, oh shit. Because you think 
you think, oh, they played this game for nothing and the whole the devil shit is just bullshit. And then she blows up. And then look. They start playing. Oh, my God. It's, the gr it's, it's a oh. great movie ending. And look. You see those kids? What the fuck? Hold up. Right here. And imagine knowing, like, that's scary. Imagine, be imagine being him. You know you're about to blow up and be tortured for eternity. Run, run. It's time to run and hide. Run, oh, fuck. Run, run. I think you were right. <laughs> Mr. LaBelle, I take, it, I take it back. <laughs> she married into the family but didn't ha have to play hide and seek, so she just got into the family. But she dies, too. Go Blows up. Oh, and you think, oh, maybe they're not going to kill the kids. Three people run out of the room. Three explosions. Dead. Dead. No plot armor for you, dumbass. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. Oh, and then this is the husband. That, like, tricked her into doing this, and he's like, I'm not like them. You gotta help me, blah, blah, blah. He blows up. Right. And then the devil tips his hat. Hold up. Bang. Wow. Crazy ending to a movie. Crazy ending to a movie. Anyways, when they kill children in movies, obviously, yeah, it's sad. I just don't like... I'm not saying they need to, but I'm saying if you have a kid in a horror movie... And they just survive because the demon doesn't want to kill them. Like, that doesn't make sense. Vincent for the sub, floating for the three. I watched this movie on shrooms with my friend and I started freaking out. <laughs> you watched Ready or Not, a movie about the devil and hunting people on mushrooms. And you thought that would be a fun movie. Not like Up, right? Or like an a, a good animated movie. You said, yeah, let's take hallucinogens and watch Ready or Not. Up and out for the three. Gabe for the sub, Big Ferg for the 1,500 bitties, and for the five. Sinister, Midsummer, and Silence of the Lambs are peak, but for real, psychological horror is my downfall. I feel like those are the best movies. As Above, So Below is the scariest one I've ever seen. I've never seen that. Zoka for the three. Kingston for the sub. Sad, because when he wakes up the following morning still in shock, and we hear his mother's reaction to what happened... Yeah, that was a cherry on top. Definitely the most disturbing scene in the movie, but not as scary as... Annabelle. Look, I know the Annabelle movies themselves may not be that scary, but that doll definitely is. Any scene with that doll just creeps me the frick out. I don't like dolls. And I know some Well, and it's more creepy too, because then it, it it's long lasting. If you watch Annabelle or a movie about like horror, like dolls that get possessed... Anytime you now see a doll, you're going to bug out. Like, you ever watch... I remember back when I was younger, I used to have to sleep in my grandparents. And you know how every grandparent has, like, fucking weird knickknacks and just shit that's like, ugh, like, why do you own this? Sleeping there was fucking terrifying. And I had never even seen Annabelle or any of those fucking creepy movies. And I don't think I would be able to stay there after watching one of those. Now. I probably don't either. So who's with me? Ever since I... Because you're falling asleep of, like, all these dolls, like, Chucky staring at you. I saw Chucky back in, like, 06. Dolls have always given me the heebie-jeebies. They're definitely in my top 10 biggest fears. Probably somewhere between Heights and Michael Jackson. And Annabelle Michael is the Jackson. worst of them. At least Chucky only uses a knife, and at least he'll crack jokes before he kills you. But Annabelle, Annabelle is pure evil. She can levitate objects, possess people, burn your clothes, key your car. Am I thinking about the right movie? But still, Annabelle's creepy little porcelain face alone makes her movie scary. Like, have y'all seen her Facebook page? The Thing is honestly off, the best. I would honestly say the best movie I've ever seen. I, like, I now I might be exaggerating just because I'm, I'm like, panning to the nostalgia the first time I watched that movie. Chat, watch this fucking movie. The Thing, it's old. It's an old, it's like fucking, I think it's like 90s. 
Such a good fight. It's just the plot. Is it the story? This movie came out back in like the 1400s. Uh, yeah, 80s. 1982. I wasn't even allowed to vote back then. That's scary enough. But this movie is a different type of scary. Aside from its super nasty practical effects, this movie is known for the huge levels of uncertainty it gives you. For those of you who have never heard this movie or are just too young, I'll put it in the most simple way possible. This movie is real life among us i am being so serious i'm not joking at all it's about a bunch of crew members well scientists it's real life among us but worse because if the among us character if the imposter kills you he becomes you and he acts like you the premise is that there's a monster that enters say you have a group of 10 friends it kills one it's now one of the friends so you have one out of 10 people, that's it. And we know that, right? But we don't know who it is. Everybody splits up. When they get back together, who's real, who's not? Who's dead and who's the actual person? They have all your memories. They talk like you. They act like you, right? They're you outside of the fact that they're not you, right? The only way they figure out, there's a few ways they figure out. They test your blood, they don't they, they don't, they can't morph earrings. So say you have like piercings and it kills you and, and then becomes you. It won't morph your earrings or like metal. But like that, there's like a few things. Who are infiltrated by an alien who could take the form of other life forms. And once oh, they any life form too. Dogs, cats, humans. Realize there was an imposter among us. They all end up not trusting each other. And that's what makes this movie so scary. The paranoia. These dudes end up arguing, isolating each other, killing each other just because they don't know who's who. Even us as the audience, we're left out of the know. We never really find out who's been assimilated and who hasn't unless the crew also finds out. So while you're watching, you're damn near as confused as them. Also, this isn't your average movie where all the characters are stupid and make terrible decisions no this is an intelligent group of individuals we're working with here and even yeah that and they split up but like i when you watch this movie there's never a decision where you're like why the fuck would they do that you're like okay this makes logical sense and it just doesn't work and they still don't know who's who that's terrifying for somebody like me i'm not that smart of a guy probably average intelligence my best subject in school was ela and even then you don't know i blame glass and i would only win an among us when i was the imposter so in this scenario i would be cooked i wouldn't know who to not try. and then the ending of the movie i'm being a dick rider the ending of the movie you don't know who's if they got him you don't know the ending of the movie, they, they're they both just sitting there and they're, oh, I, I don't want to spoil it. Can I spoil it? I, I can't spoil it because it's an open-ended ending. Trust, I see the good in people. I'm sorry. Like, imagine you were in a room with the most- I'm not spoiling it because I want you guys to watch the movie. The people ever. SpongeBob, Tanjiro, Jiminy Cricket, and every U.S. president ever. What would you do? You would be in- All right, I'm going to spoil it. Listen, at the end of the movie, they're sitting there. I'm going to pull it up. They meet back up. These are the only two alive. They've been, they have been separated. Everyone else has died. These two come back. And they're sitting there. The whole place is burning to the ground. They've come to the conclusion that they, if they don't kill it, it will spread for the world. Because it can survive in the snow. So they have to kill it. And kill themselves by doing so, right? They're in the middle of the fucking Alaska, Alaska or whatever, fucking Antarctica, wherever the hell they are. And they meet back up. You the only one who made it? Not the only one. Did you kill it? Where were you, Charles? See, he thinks it's him. He thinks it's him. But it could be him as well. I thought I saw Blair. I went out after him. Got lost in the storm. <laughs> tell me when to unmute. How the hell am I going to tell you when to unmute? The temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. Neither will we. Anyways, they sit there and drink together. I'm not going to watch this whole scene. They sit there and drink together and talk and laugh right because if one of them's the thing they they failed and it will kill everybody on earth and if neither of them are the thing they'll still both die but they'll die knowing that they saved the the world kirby for the three currently in a car about to go on a five-hour drive wish me luck uh good luck too uh too cool for the three 
Annihilation is a very good psychological horror. Uh, it, sh it shows how pe uh, people are scared of change. So we decided to destroy it and shows how people self-destruct in their everyday lives. You should watch it. What is it on? Hershey for the sub, let's for the four. I'd hide out in a forest and kill anybody that comes near. Pixie for the three. Uh, chat is Joe Sus. Ray, Yeek, uh, Mr. Jedi, and Vincent for the sub floating for the three. All right. Inclined to believe all of them and then boom, you're dead. But honestly, I'd much rather deal with an alien than to deal with... So this Hell Razor? This movie's about this little puzzle box, and when you solve it, it's supposed to give you this next level of pleasure. But really, it's just pain. But the scariest part about this movie, and really what carries the movie, is not the torture, because Saw does it better, is the Cenobites. There are these entities that you summon when you solve the puzzle. And I don't know about y'all, but when I was younger, they used to terrify me off appearance alone. It's not even the fact that they torture you. They could be giving me ice cream, and I still would be scared of them. I'd probably be more scared of them. I'm all for not judging people off appearance, but these dudes, come on, you gotta judge them. Not only do they look hella creepy. They have, like, sewing needles. That look, that just looks like the alien monster. He chattered, J just look at him. But they don't see any of that torture stuff they do as wrong. They think if you summon them, they're doing you a favor. Luckily, I don't think I would solve the puzzle box because I wouldn't want to. Oh, so if you I can't reason with them? I really wanted to be tortured, I would just play some Detroit music in my ears. Uh, that'd be enough. And two, even if I wanted to, I don't think I'd be able to solve the box. I can't oh. even solve the problems in my life. You expect me to solve this? And while I did just say the Cenobites are the scariest part about this movie, the true scariest part is how dangerous boring it is like we don't even see the center bites until we're halfway through this movie is really a snooze fest freddy krueger and a copy of this movie is a deadly combo they're far bro freddy krueger is so ass oh my god dude like i don't know how people like that movie i'm gonna sleep every single time but even pinhead and his friends don't compare to the last movie i have on my list <laughs> Strangers. I watched this movie recently, and I have to say, this is one of the scariest horror movies I've seen in my life. While a lot of horror movies are about ghosts, monsters, and freakishly strong serial killers, this movie is just about people, which is the main reason I find it so scary, because we're people. This could happen to any and everyone. Yeah, it realistic horror movies are the scariest ones. Like, things that could actually happen. When it's like Chucky, you're like, nah, right? A doll that's making comedy jokes before it stabs you. But when it's like some real type shit. In this movie, we follow a couple who are staying at a lodge while on vacation in the middle of the woods. When they get a knock on their door. Is Tamara here? No. And this may have seemed normal at the moment, but it definitely wasn't. Because after that stranger knocking on their door, they proceed to be hunted down by not one, not two, but three killers. And three's a big number. And these three killers are not just your regular, degular killers, okay? Normally in slashers, the killers are just trying to capture their victims so they can do what they gotta do. But in this one, the killers purposely stalk their victims, scare their victims, and let them feel like they have a chance of escaping just to kill their hopes. Like, there's scenes where they could easily kill the protagonist, but they choose not to just because they get some sort of thrill off playing with their victims they're just like those people who work at haunted houses just pure evil and on top of the already scary killers is well i want to see a horror movie so bad though where like the villains like it's like a slow build and it just ends with the villain just getting shot in the face <laughs> it takes place in texas the this exact movie pans out but he literally just pulls out a gun and shoots them this movie is full of creepy shots, some creepy just old fucking music. kills them, just lays them down. It just ends. It's like a 20 minute movie. Texas Chainsaw, yeah, but they just fucking shoot him. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but some well placed jump scares. I'm over here stroking my. One thing I don't like about this movie, though, is how dang stupid these main characters can be. The way I'm describing it, you guys probably thought. But this that's every horror movie. Every fucking horror movie. They could be in an abandoned house and they'll hear like rustling in the basement. And one guy will go, I'll go check that out. No, don't come with me. No, don't come with me. I have this alone. I have my lighter. I have my trusty lighter. It goes out. In the basement. Door slams, locks, kills him. Then the other two fuckers go, let's split up. Let's look for Jimmy. Knowing he's in the basement dead. 
This couple was helpless to these killers. Oh, we just heard Jimmy die in the basement. Why don't we go down there and check it out? Nah, they just fall under that. No. A bad decision making stereotype in horror movies. I don't want to get too into the details because I kind of want to make a video on bad decisions in movies, but I'll just say this it was a 3v2 and the main characters had a shotgun. Y'all already know I would have gone stupid with that shotgun. I would have been in the bedroom aiming at the door all night, camping like it was Call of Duty. I mean, they kind of did do that and it didn't go so well, but we don't have time to cry. Reload and get back in place. Now, you may be wondering why are they being hunted? Do they owe the killers money? Did they hurt someone close to them? Because you were home. This is hands down one of you were the, home. the scariest lines in any horror film. And one of the coldest. This lets us know that this happened to our main characters for absolutely no reason. It was just chance. If it wasn't them, it would have been the next person who answered the door. That's terrifying. Your likelihood of owning a possessed doll, meeting an alien who could turn into humans, or summon literal demon torturers from hell is way less likely than a person who's sick in the head trying to hurt you. This movie has reinstilled stranger danger into me. So from now on, I will not be opening the door for no one. Pizza delivery, packages, not even my mom is getting in the house if she don't got keys. I'm not opening. You know, I've come to realize that a horror movie is only as scary as you make it. It's the- Yo, I just had the, the most insane realization, like, recently. Who pays people to take stock images? Like stock photos, the people in those photos aren't advertising anything. Who is paying them? You're an idiot. How? Like I'm, I, I can't find the solution for this. Stock image companies. But how are stock image companies making money? It's big photo. That's what it is. It's big. It's big photo. Big photo. They're probably money laundering, if I'm really thinking about it. Stock photo websites. How are they making money? You pay for the photo? Who the fuck's paying for a stock image? Like, give me, give me a prompt. Man drinking coffee. Who the fuck paid this guy with nice waves to sip this coffee? Google? Google pays for this image? Who's paying for this? How is this guy making money? Man drinking coffee stress out. That's probably such a specific thing, and it's there. And it's there. And it's there. And it's there. They sell it to Google. Why is Google buying this? And how, what are they buying this for $5? Who needs this photo? vibes is depending on how you watch it like if i'm watching insidious with a bunch of friends lights on and we cracking jokes the whole time i probably wouldn't take this darth maul looking dude serious now if i was watching something goofy like slaughterhouse but i was all alone in the middle of the night i probably still wouldn't be scared of it it's, it's a movie about a killer sloth come on but y'all see what i'm saying moral of the story i'm over here stroking my gotcha nick oh, that was a good movie or not good movie good video hms for the sub uh rachel for the three Recruit for a Dream is a very scary and sad movie. Mr. Crimson for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted. Mr. Crimson Saber. Cast for the sub. Potato for the seven hundred bitties. Aswaf for the sub. Or Aswaf for the sub. Infinity for the three. Didn't you have a Camaro? And was it good slash reliable car? Uh, I mean, it broke down a few times, but it was also old. Uh, and yeah, I used to drive like a 2010 Camaro. Um, it was all right. I mean, I liked the car. Would I get a new one? Yeah, but I mean, there's no need for me to. Uh, and I don't want to spend that money on a fucking Camaro <coughs> right now. Cur uh, Kirby for the three. Uh, HMS for the sub. All right, we have two more videos, and then we're going to play that Gristovia game. RKL for the sub. Uh, chat, which one first? Are skinwalkers actually real, or what's your partner's le least attractive feature? One or two. One is the skinwalkers, two is least attractive feature. And then we're playing Escape from Gristovia. Maybe some Fortnite after. 
Peaceful for the sub. RKO for the sub. Skinwalkers? All right, we'll do that first. Our skinwalkers actually real. Hundreds of videos are coming out of people. Up and out the way for the 25 fucking gifted subs. Oh my fucking god, you did not need to give me that many fucking subs. Thank you for the fucking 25 gifted subs. And I'll take them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 25 gifted <gasps> Thank you for the 25 gifts and subs. Now. I appreciate the fucking subs there, brother. Oh my god. Thank you for the fucking gifteds. Up and out the way. I appreciate you. 25 people just got a free sub. If you're one of them, thank them. If you got a sub, thank you for the fucking 25 gifts. It's up and out the way. Peaceful for the sub. RKO for the sub. I don't even know how many subs you've given today uh, up and out the way. A lot. Thank you for the fucking subs, man. Probably 50 plus. Expectro for the sub. Thank you for the fucking subs up and out the way. 412 subs today. What the fuck? Thank you for the subs. Hundreds of videos are coming. Oh, back to the video. Are skinwalkers actually real? Hundreds of videos are coming out of people saying their dog is a skinwalker. This deer is a skinwalker. This person is a skinwalker. Basically, a skinwalker is a witch from Navajo culture that can morph into a bunch of different creatures. But could it actually be real? To find out, I'm going to the three places. And now. Do y'all think any of those, like, story, mythological creature things are real? Like Bigfoot? A Yeti? I could believe more in a Yeti than Bigfoot. Because it's cold. And, like, yeah, could there be some weird creature in the middle of the fucking snow? Yeah. Is there? Probably not. Bigfoot, though. Bigfoot, though, you're telling me Bigfoot exists and no one's shot that motherfucker? He lives in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere, and you're telling me there hasn't been some old drunk fucking country dude that just blasted it in the face and fucking shot it the fuck down? Like, ah, I don't know, right? Uh, and like, oh, yeah, they're evasive. They're good. Like, nah, nah, I don't know. What about Bigfoot handprints? Buddy, buddy, it ain't that hard to fake a fucking handprint. Uh, Bryce for the three. Uh, what if, uh, the thing was real, but in New York? 70 seconds, that would be awful. Up and out, daddy, crazy cold, gimmicky, uh, for the sub, uh, 76 for the sub. Uh, Brunsky for the three. Are you doing another ACR or poker sponsor one day? The last ones were fire. Uh, maybe in the future, but not anytime soon. Sweaty for the sub, uh, Suge for the three. Uh, have been watching your streams since last summer. Enjoy, uh, watching your videos a lot. Me and my girlfriend love your videos and her birthday's coming up. Uh, happy early birthday, Emily. Uh, happy early birthday. Thank you for the fucking 300 bitties. Uh, Suge. Uh, and happy birthday, Emily. Uh, super funny, uh, you're a super cool streamer overall. Sweaty for the sub, Yiki, for the 1,500 bitties. Been told by a lot of people that I'm, uh, not one to laugh much, but I find myself crying in laughter from your videos and streams. Thank you. That is a fucking W compliment. Thank you for the fucking 1,500 bitties, too, Yeek, Yeekle, Yeekle. With the most skinwalker sightings to I'm in disbelief I've been on stream since the beginning. Yeah, we're hitting the three hour mark right now. W three hour stream thus far. <sighs> Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. RKL for the sub. Probably gonna do a four and a half hour stream today. Search for proof. And I'm gonna four hour tomorrow. Probably four hour Monday. Four hour. We're probably gonna do a lot of we're streaming all day, all, all week this next week. I'm not taking off Tuesday like normal. Next, next Tuesday, I'll take off. But this upcoming Tuesday, I'll be streaming. Tomorrow's going to be Reacts, exclamation point, Discord, mods to the Discord link. If you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there. Video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab, video suggestion tab for React days, game suggestion tab for gaming days. You can send anything. That's how I find most of the videos I watch in the games that I play. If you have any fucking videos you want me to watch, whether they be cringy, funny, body cam, Darman, scary, uh, whatever, reactable, commentatable, send those there. If you have any games you want me to play, funny, horror, multiplayer, story, Space, I don't know. Whatever fucking game you want me to play, send those there as well. Uh, tomorrow's going to be Reacts. Monday's going to be Minecraft at 4.30. Uh, tomorrow I'm live at 2 because it's a weekend. Monday, Minecraft at 4.30. Tuesday, going to be doing 4.30 um, Barn Finders and probably Beginner's Guide. Wednesday's going to be Scary Games at 4.30. Thursday's going to be WWE. Maybe some other random shit at 4.30. Uh, like Fortnite. Friday's Reacts at 4.30. Friday, or, or Friday's Reacts at 4.30. Saturday. Probably random games at two. Sunday reacts at two. Side for the sub. That's the next week's schedule. JP not for the three. Look at the killer class from outer space. The shitty horror movie. 
Aren't they making a game about that too? Joseph and the three. Close my hair, but I uh, had to tell the chat uh, to get out to get out their comfort zone. Peak for the sub. What, by buzzing your hair? I do want to get a buzz cut. Queso for the four, but I need a beard. Ali for the sub. I feel like I'd look weird without one. Lock back in, chat. Lock back in. Joe's a reptilian. Yeah, I'm a skinwalker. I'm going to do all the stuff that you're not supposed to do to see if I can attract any. So right now we're at Joshua Tree. I was like doing my research online and here there were just a ton of stories for skinwalker sightings. So uh, I brought my friend Trace here. He's uh, apparently haunted. Isn't Skinwalker Ranch a very famous place though? See, now that does make me kind of believe it. Twisted for the three. Yeah, I've been watching a while, decided to check out the streams of Caleb for the three. I used to get bullied in school for being overweight, and you motivated me to work out every day, and I'm down 30 pounds. Dub, dude. I'm glad you're uh, fucking losing weight, and I'm uh, glad you're in a better space now. Caleb, thank you for the three, and I'm sorry you got bullied, man. Miley for the five. Me and my best friend have been watching you since near the start. When we hang out, we wa binge watch your videos. Dude, that's fucking sick. So glad you became a streamer. You're the funniest streamer out there, in our opinion. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Marley. By Skinwalkers. Before we started searching, to learn a little bit, we called one of Trace's friends who happens to be Navajo, which is where skinwalkers originate from. Like, what was the experience you had as a kid that you told me about? So, as a little kid from, like, when I was born to about 10 years old, I grew up on the reservation, the Navajo uh, reservation. One night, there was just this tall figure, didn't say anything, was just standing there next to this abandoned car and i ran for my life bro i was so scared i was like i don't know what it was to my grandma and everything and like that's that was an sw you saw your first sw as soon as you mention that you bring that that into the world pretty much and it kind of kind of yourself so a lot of people don't want to believe it a lot of people want to say but hey, what is a skinwalker is it, what is a skinwalker? It's just a fucking weird, weird, like, being that, like, morphs into other fucking people and shit. Say, but once you're there, you won't be able to forget it. You really won't. So now Don't say their name. I'm not allowed to say skinwalker. Now that we knew more, we wanted to get to the highest vantage point so that we could see if there was anything... It's a witch that can transform. Yeah, that's fucking creepy. Floating candle up for the three. I hope this doesn't sound weird, but I love your eyes. The way you blink is really satisfying, and your eyelashes and eye color is really soothing. I sound like a fucking creep, dude. I don't mean it to be weird. I'm really bad when it comes to compliments. Bro, it's not weird. Most people hate my eyes because I have hooded eyelids, so it looks like they're ball sacks. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the fucking compliment, man. Range, like all the stories from this location. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't see anything. Do you see anything? Any, any movement? Uh... It's probably a tree. We didn't find anything here. So we're going to go to the next place. There's no way he said we're going to go find a skinwalker by just going on top of a rock and looking out into the land. Tons of sightings here. A lot of people use paranormal equipment there. So I'm going to try some out. So we headed to the next place and started setting up. But before we even started filming, Trace saw something weird in the distance. Damn, I'm forgetting everything. Oh my right? God, I forgot to... <sighs> Wait, maybe skinwalkers are real. One of my philosophy teachers said he used to live in Arizona, and he said he saw a skinwalker. Like, flat out. He said he was at some fucking uh, house that he was staying out with friends in the middle of the fucking desert, and he said he saw a skinwalker and never came back. Like, literally never went back to the state. And I was like, I was like, you're that, I was like, you're that scared? He was like, yeah, I'll never go back. I was like, what? Mr. Safety for the three says, ball sack eye guy, stop. Wait, wait what is that in the middle of the road? What is that in the middle of the road? Yeah, maybe focus the camera a little bit, buddy. All I'm seeing is the fucking uh, Walter White fucking meth van. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? It's 2023. Why do we got 240p right now? No focus? Holy shit. Wait, in the light over there? In the light over there? Get in the car. Oh, 2024 now. Yeah, not 2023. Oh, bitch like that is chat that's a fucking skinwalker if i've ever seen one that's definitive proof of a fucking skinwalker wow wow and here i thought this video would be bullshit oh, they can turn into animals bitch at that point if they can turn into any animal ever 
then you're never going to be able to fucking, you're never going to be able to prove that, that that's a fucking skinwalker. Because you could say, that used to be a skinwalker, now it's a donkey. They shoot it. See, they, it turned its physical matter into a donkey. Aber for the set, a Spectra for the five. I mean, I guess that's why it's really terrifying, though. 1217 Midnight, just watch your streams, love your streams. Thank you for the fucking five, Spectra, and thank you to tu uh, for tuning in, man. Wait, who's driving? What's the door? I just tuned in. Why do you sound different? Uh, I'm set. Ethan, record. Drive. Can drive. What the f is that? Is that it's a, it's a donkey? donkey? What the? Oh wait, no, but that is really fucking scary because it could literally just be acting like a donkey. Holy sh! Like when we played Pumpkin Panic and that thing acted like a deer. Y'all remember that? And then you get near it and it goes, and it hawks out. Holy. Dude, dude, are you filming? You're filming? What the? I'm kicking that thing in the teeth. Dude, drive. Nah, it looks like a regular donkey, bitch. It's fine. For the love of God, drive. Why is it just. We didn't get the chance to intro where we're at. Dude, we literally didn't. I will take my dog out sometimes. Oh my God, this is freaking me out. No, maybe Daisy's a skinwalker. Hold the fuck up. I'll take my dog out at night, and sometimes I'll just, like, go on my phone and not pay attention, and she'll, like, she'll, like, run, run, and then take a piss and come back, but it'll go silent for, like, a minute, and I always think to myself, what if something just killed my dog, morphed into my dog, and then, like, is living in my house? Yo, what if Daisy's a fucking skinwalker, and she can't be? She can't be. Gmod and Cave and Rokely for the sub. Fuck. You ever take your dog out and they run behind a bush and they, you, you don't see him for a minute? That might not be your dog. Start oh filming it. Might not be your dog anymore. After freaking out a lot, we looked it up and there were normally wild donkeys out here, so... We might have just got spooked by a dog. Imagine my dog just came into my room right now. I would, I would actually, I would back up. I would, <laughs> imagine she just opens the door. She's standing on hind legs. I see my dog. I'm like, what? <laughs> Starts speaking perfect English. Batty for the three. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared, dude, because I didn't think it was a donkey. I saw something that was like two foot tall at first. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I thought you were a skinwalker. I hope you can understand. Really? Donkey. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the skinwalker, shoot it! They just fucking kill all the donkeys. <laughs> Bro, we've been surrounded by skinwalkers. <laughs> We're about to. Oh, wait. They don't like that word. That one's not. Hey, that, one's that one ain't moving. That one's mean mugging. There is a okay, dude. That one's. Skinwalker. Skinwalker. Hold next to it and try to talk to it. Skinwalker. Why am I so terrified right now? I... Bro's in a fucking Hyundai Elantra. Buddy, I wouldn't be fucking testing this one out. I don't think those wheels are going to be spinning out of the fucking desert on this bitch. Okay, things skinwalkers don't like. Whistling. <laughs> Doesn't seem to mind. Uh huh? That was the signal. From good. <laughs> Can we film our video, dude? This is uh, a place infamous for um, in an incredible amount of skinwalkers. It just goes, roar, fucking eats him. The camera guy gets back in the car. For sightings and just a lot of paranormal activity in general. I don't trust these guys still. Can I pet you? I would not want to get near that donkey. Oh, he's scared of me. Oh, I Ooh. love donkeys, though. Oh, they're like mini horses. And they go, hee haw. My gosh. Eehaw, eehaw. And they're kind of stupid. They just start eating him. Oh, dude, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> bro, I don't like bro's this. getting jumped by donkey. <laughs> bro, they're trying to mug me. I have some uh, interesting ghost stuff to test to, uh, I guess, communicate with the skinwalkers. While they are a being, they're also spiritual in some way, so you can talk to them like that. So we got this radio that goes through stations, and apparently if there's a spirit around it, it will be able to answer your questions. So we're going to see if it works. Yo, hold up, chat. One or two, I got to post on TikTok.
One. Two. Chat, can you be uh, more concise on your opinion here? Please, uh, everybody, everybody type the same number. Everybody type the same number. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I think it posted. Did it post? It posted. All right, we're locked. Chat, lock back in. I'm not locked. Chat, make me lock back in. I'm locked. I'm not locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. Sideway for the sub, Rokely for the three. You're the goat. You make my day better with every stream. Thank you. Floating for the three. I'm autistic, so I just suck at socializing. Like a year ago, I was complimenting a girl I like, and I spent like five minutes talking about how I liked her eyebrows. I didn't mean to be weird. She has nice eyebrows. That's not your fault, though, right? Like, I wouldn't beat yourself up about it. I mean, like, it's something you might be able to work on, but at the end of the day, that's not, like, something that, like, that's, like, an, like an issue that you're controlling. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't beat yourself up about that. No, but I'm, I don't think you're weird for saying you like my eye, my eyelash. You said my eyes or my eyelashes. I think you said both. I don't like my eyelids. I think my eyes are nice. I think I have nice eyes, chat. Daddy for the three. Uh, Cave for the sub. Uh, Side and Foxy for the sub. On potentially skinwalkers. Well, Trey sets that up. I'm gonna go try to get the donkey. I'm not gonna lie. I had a Baby bit of a ass panic. eyes. Okay, fuck you. Mott! Mott! Find him. Find him. Search up tiny people from Pyro Mountain? No. No. Tech. Get in the car. Get in the car, Ethan. Pretty stressed sometimes. But it's usually not too- Harder for the three. Big of a deal because I use better the sponsor of today's video. All right, so I'm gonna set the phone right here. Uh, I guess just asking questions. BetterHelp's main goal is literally just to make therapy easier and more affordable. Most wholesome goal ever. Is there SWs here? And what I mean by that is because it's online, you can literally just use it from the comfort of your own home or wherever you may need it, like a lake that might be surrounded by creatures. Are we 100% safe out here? Buddy, you're using an iPhone app. Uh, Buddy's using the 99 cent iPhone app to talk to ghosts. Uh, why don't you get a real fucking spear, Fox pal? Uh, get off, get off the fucking iPhone 6. It honestly would be extremely difficult to find an actual therapist and have time for it in my busy schedule. I mean, I'm trying to post every week. And the worst part, they might not even be good. But the great thing about BetterHelp is all you have to do is you fill out a form. They match you. Yo, I don't want to watch this BetterHelp ad. Uh, yo, y'all remember the app where you could, where you, you bought the app and it, it just gave you a bunch of guns and you would just press them and it would shoot? And you could like reload it and you'd have a Glock and be like, shh, shh, boom, 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 boom. I remember I had one of those in school when I was in elementary school on like, not on my, I didn't have a phone, but I had like a little like iPad mini when I was in like fourth grade and I brought it and I, I had the 12 gauge out. And I started going, shh, shh, boom, shh, shh, boom. And, and I didn't know, you know, at the time, the, the repercussions of that got the iPad taken away. I det I'd lunch detention for a while. Yeah, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. And they were like, they were like, what is your problem? Not, not the students, it was the teacher. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I was like, it's a cool app. And then I started going through the other ones. She took it. She was like, fucking stop. And it never made sense until like years later why like why that was an issue. With the radio not being much evidence, we moved on to the final place with the most sightings. We made it to the final location. Uh, we're by the Hikarilia Reservation, which is where the photo, the original photo of skinwalkers was taken near here. They don't have- Like, how does that thing stand up?
have the exact address unfortunately so i can't find the exact spot for you guys not only that picture is from here but people have seen more sightings here than anyone this is the part where we do all the things we're not supposed to do all the things that attract sws i don't want to seem like i'm playing this up for the camera but this is like driving number here. one we're gonna be ripping unfiltered cigarettes to the butt number two i'm gonna be pissing on every tree in sight it felt terrible. I hate this place. I don't want to be here long. All right, let's go farther. Let's go farther. That was a dog. That's unfortunate. A common uh, animal that SWs turn into is dogs, wolves of that nature. A lot of people claim their own dog is an SW. Okay, this area is giving me the creeps yeah let's oh get, my god let's gosh. film bro please please oh dude i almost can't i don't feel like doing the bit when i first looked up how to attract sws um here's the so how much would somebody have to pay you to just fucking stay here for a night like 50k even just walking alone like how much would somebody have to pay you to walk in the middle of the woods at night Any, any, any woods. Like, not your choice, just your local woods. I feel like this is going to be a higher pay for people that live near bears. If you live in, like, the mountains and you have to walk in the woods in the middle of the night, you could just, like, fucking get mauled by a mountain lion or something like that. Abdullah for the three. There's a gin invisible creature where he only appears in the desert at night when you're lost and flashes a light at you as a sign to follow him. And when you follow him, uh, the flash only gets you more lost and it leads you into the middle of the desert. That is fucking terrifying. Golden for the three. I'm so happy right now it's snowing in New York collecting on the ground. Oh, lucky you. Oh, lucky you. Mez for the three. Uh, what WWE stuff are we doing Thursday? I'm going to be playing WWE. Torin for the th uh, for the sub. Jaden for the sub. Uh, Adders for the three. You're an underrated streamer. I love your humor and hearing your point of view on things. Thank you. First things I read, native here. That's the absolute worst thing you can think of doing, period. Do it and film it, someone said. <laughs> it's a bad idea and um, yeah. I'm tripping, that's, that's me. One, say skinwalker. Bitch, I'm gonna be like it's phasmophobia and I'm saying the ghost's name to aggravate it. Skinwalker, 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 and then I get in my car and dish my friend. Skinwalker? Skinwalker. Skinwalker, skinwalker, skinwalker. Close the door on him. Skinwalker. Skinwalker! Okay, you, why did you scream it? Skinwalker! That's a nice echo. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, I'm so f***ing uncomfortable. Oh. All right. Did we... That's a f***ing That's a goose. Bird. Or goose. All right, Bro, they're just tripping themselves out. Next thing, um, Daisy Showcase. I'll do it after this video. Yeah, y'all are trying to y'all trying to make my dog hulk out and kill me. Whistling. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen. When I find out the Skinwalker turns into Margot Robbie. <laughs> That's our sign to leave. Wait, what was that? Was that scary? What was that? Oh my gosh, what was that sound? I don't know what that could have been. Like, I'm trying to, my goal for these- Yo, if you're doing this shit for the content, bro, you gotta stay there. You can't hear one, and then say it's too scary to leave. You gotta stay there. Videos is to give you guys logical answers. I don't know, like, I, I have no answer in my brain for what sound that could have been. While this was terrifying, we still didn't have 100% proof, so I moved on to the final strategies. To attract a skinwalker and finally get proof. Those two were to go completely alone, and also to offer it new animal skin, which I bought earlier. You two can stay in here. I'm just gonna go out with my phone. We need a code to make sure that you're you. Real Patrick Bateman, American Psycho, Ryan Gosling. Hey, be safe, Gavin. Dude. I'm scared for Gavin, actually. This is the last time I'll probably aim the camera at my face because I can't really see. I hear ge geese over there. All right, boys. I would be getting chills. I don't even care if there was a camera on me and I, if I didn't believe in this shit.
Like I would not, I, I would not be able to fucking walk into the middle of the woods at night. Here's the plan. That's I, terrifying. I go. Like even if there's nothing out there, your mind's just gonna start fucking making you think there's shit. Deep in here, I hold up the skin. I say skinwalkers. I have skin for you. I've never felt this bad. I don't want to do this. This is the one piece of advice. <sighs> what if I see something? I'm literally tripping. My brain has already seen things. The one piece of advice people say is never go alone. Never split up. Go the geese are, are moving all over the place. <sighs> go in here and Skinwalkers, I have your skin for you. Nah, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. If you really, you're already out there in the middle, bitch. You're already out in the middle of the fucking desert alone. L video? Yeah, now it, it is one right now. Bro, say it louder. Skinwalkers, I have your skin. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, and then he runs? I heard footsteps. Oh. And then I ran, bro. We tried to find an explanation for the scream. I mean, I guess the one thing that would make sense is, I think it's foxes sound scary. There used to be some, um, where I lived in Virginia. Uh, that would make me shit myself in the middle of the night. But honestly, uh, uh, you're telling me that's just a regular sound a fox makes? Honestly, it didn't match a fox at all. And it was even weirder when I realized the whistle I did right before we heard the scream was the same one I did right before the donkey moved earlier. But honestly, none of that is really what would make me believe. It's the fact that I've made three videos about this and over probably like 40 people that I've talked to, almost everyone has had an insane story that's very similar. Got a guy that used to work for us, he saw her. Bro, you could find somebody on the side of the road right now that said they got fucked by an alien. You having someone tell you that they saw a skinwalker is not definitive proof of that being real, right? Like, you could go on the side of fucking New York right now, and some guy will be like, yeah, I had an alien probe me five years ago. And then he'll pull out a butt plug and fucking show you. Like, that's not, and then you'll be like, oh, this guy's a fucking in, in, insane person. This guy's a psychopath. Let me leave, right? It's just XQC. What do you mean it's just XQC? Somebody said boring stream. Then fuck off. Oh my god. Joe, I just got my sister's mom pregnant. What should I do? That would be your own mother. Lear, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Lear. I appreciate the fucking 10 gifted. Thank them if you get a sub. Thank you for the 10 fucking gifted. Lear is Mally. Sir Q for the sub. I'm butt cheeks for the sub. Vinny for the three. I wore your merch while on the news. Did you really? I froze for the sub. What news station? Just tucked its hand in like this ramp. Seeing one wolf like cape shadowy figure. I've been haunted by Skinwalker for the past three years. Once you're there, you will. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking shit about Skinwalkers. So if there's any creature I believe in more than the rest that I've looked for so far. Haunted by one for three years. Mm, pass. It's definitely this. It's definitely Skinwalkers. So I can't say 100% that these things are real. But I can understand why people believe in them. Comment what I should look for next, but this is just gonna stay a uh. mystery tale of the unknown. I'm gonna do it. Oh, not this fucking guy. I'm not watching that video right now. All right, y'all ready for the last, uh, the last bit and then some gaming? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, lock back in. A lock back in, chat. Lock back in. A lock back in. Floating for the three. Back in the 60s, JFK turned into an alien and had an affair with me. Trust. Alex for the three. Uh, just got off practice. Glad I could make the stream. I know you uh, heard this a lot, but genuinely, thanks for being such a great and genuine content. Uh... So consistently all through 23, 23, glad I could be a part of this community. 
Uh, to you and chat, have a great 2024. Thank you, XD, uh, XDD for the sub. Oh, I got to do Daisy Showcase real quick. All right, hold up. Y'all got to count me down 30 seconds, then. I'll be back in a second. Uh, M lost it for the three. When I see your streams or YouTube posts, it tur I turn into the biggest iPad kid. <laughs> I always have to boop a dog's nose. He's not catching. We're back. Wasabi for the sub Lear for the 7,000 biddies. What the fuck? Hold up. Lear is Bailey for the 7K biddies. Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you for the fucking 7,000 bits. Oh my God. Actual fucking dub, dude. Appreciate the fucking donut, Lear. Oh my God. Up and out the way for the 10 gifted too. Lear for the 7,000, but he's up and out the way for the 10 fucking gifted. Dub in the chat for that shit. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. up and out the way. I appreciate the fucking subs that you've given this stream. Hold up. I want to see if I can see how many you've given. 51 subs to the channel total. Thank you for the fucking subs. And Lear for the 3,000, but he's hit a mean gritty. I'm done. Lock in, chat. Lock in. Lock in. First gritty of 2024, honestly. That was the first gritty I ever hit this year. <sighs> What's your partner's least attractive feature? Spooby for the train. Is it weird that I get sad at Daisy Showcase? I had a three-year-old golden retriever who died of lymphoma cancer, F cancer uh, for all people slash animals. It's not sad. Knowing that one in every golden retrievers get cancer makes, sad, uh, makes me sad because they're such sweethearts. I, I agree. Uh, and it's actually higher in Golden's uh, now than it used to be. I don't know why. Rest in peace, Archer. R.I.P. Archer in the chat. Our sweet Golden Retriever. Daisy's the cutest dog, and I hope you cherish her as a dog should be cherished. Thank you. Uh, and I do love my dog. Uh, I fell asleep. She, Dude, she fell asleep next to me till like 6 a.m. this morning. Normally, she'll fall asleep with me for like a three, 30 minutes and then get up. Dude, she was just slumped. All right. Lock in. What's your partner's least attractive feature? Least attractive feature. Yo, that reminds me. I got to do a pet charity. I've been doing charity streams for a bunch of shit. I've, I haven't done one for animals. Like, I've only done things human-related. Well, outside of when I did the Clash of Clans thing for Team C's, but, I mean, that's still, like, a human 
I, it, well, it's, it's not. It's for sea animals and just the ocean. Uh, but we're doing the American Cancer Society one this Friday. Uh, and then I'll probably try to do a different one uh, for... I, I actually think uh, lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or just lymphoma. Um, late January. All right, lock in. What's your partner's least attractive to you? And I knew I was... Oh, my God. I mansplain. I will mansplain. But just because I love talking about things I know I know stuff about. And we were watching... It was me and Brooke were watching a movie while we were on break. And I don't even remember what it was about. But I was high. And I just started mansplaining. But not in, like, a rude way. And she didn't even mention it. But, like, after I said... What is mansplaining? When, like, a guy will confidently ramble about something that a woman likely already knows. Right? And so I was rambling to her about something with a movie. She asked me some question, and I answered it. And then, like, I went on a tangent just because I was high and I was just talking. And then at the end of it, I didn't even say anything to her. I still haven't said anything to her. But I was like, at the end of it, I was like, bro, did I just mansplain for, like, five minutes? It's not even necessarily something that's designated towards men. It's called mansplaining because men will do it a lot. But it's like, a woman can do it, too. It's just explaining. It'd be like, say... Say we want to talk about, I know a lot about track. And so say somebody comes up to me and they start rambling to me about track and field hurdles. And I already know that. They're, they're explaining to me, right? Because they're explaining something that I already know. Mr. Safety for the three. I got a Spider-Man logo tattooed on my back uh, like they're on the suit just a bit smaller two days ago. That's sick. Um, Samuel for the sub. Uh, and did he like it? Uh, Crown for the three. Basin for the three. I will say, though, like, the only thing that matters at the end of the day is that you like your tattoo. Obviously, like, you want other people to like it, too. But if you're fine with your tattoo, that's the only thing that matters. G4X uh, and 4XE 2021 and 2024. Mason for the three. Uh, that's, that's the one. <laughs> I, okay. All right. All right. But yeah. we've talked about it. We've yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, I'm it. working on Mansplaining, mansplaining. Fuck you. Grab for the three. If you were to make a rapper name, what would it be? Lil Bart. I'm working on it. It's that engineering background. <laughs> hey, my name is Kaylin. I'm a producer. Ah, I don't care about your fucking game. All right. W video. W video chat. We're going into a game now. We're fucking gaming. Four hours into the fucking stream chat. Uh, Locking. Is this game not on Steam? Bro. <laughs> Bro, it's not in the game category. Bro. <laughs> Alright, well, we're in games and demos, chat. We're in games and demos. I'm never in games and demos, but here we are. We're in games and demos. How much longer are you streaming? I don't know. I'm gonna play this for a little bit, and then I'm gonna figure what the fuck I wanna do out. Right? Maybe a game of Fortnite? I don't fucking know. Oh my god, it wants me to allow access. Uh, do I allow access to my PC? Ah, uh, yeah. Holy shit. Too many settings. Too many settings, chat. Do I need to change anything? Uh, vegetation? What the fuck is vegetation? Like plants? Like what are the plants gonna look like? What game is this? There's a whole U.S. Army outside of the window. Uh, it's Escape from Gristovia. Oh, it's in Russian. Hopefully, I'm going to understand what the fuck we're playing. Hopefully, there's English here. Oh, there's a Giga Chat on the wall. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? Oh, my God. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? And why do I have just pictures of... Bro, who is knocking on my door right now? I have Giga Chad... I have a brony. Okay. Um, a bunch of people pointing towards a blockhead. There's a lot of military people outside of my house. Okay, apparently I like cats a lot. Oh, can I open this? Can I just leave? No way I could just leave. I'm assuming the goal of the game is to escape this because this looks pretty dangerous. Wow, that is laggy. Wow, that is laggy. Big toothbrush. Toothbrush room. 
Not a fan of the toothbrush room. PC's not a fan of the toothbrush room. Ah, toothbrush room's not, not the best. Doesn't really pan well. Hello, I really need a friend. Let's be friends. How are you gonna tell? How are you gonna have the voice lines in English, but the response is in Russian? Q or E? I don't know. This game looks like a Russian man tried to make the most American game ever. Lear for the sub. E. Could you let me warm up? I'm very cold. No. Got you. Here is your summons. I've already signed it. Gather your personal belongings and Vaseline. Oh, chat, should I also mention this game was 80 cents? This game was... She eated me. She eat failure. She eated me. She ate me. Why did she eat me? Roof. Oh, so I just need to leave. I just have to survive. I'm on the roof. How do I get out of here? What the fuck is the point of this game? Oh my god, what am I playing right now? Can I go to the roof? Failure. Your slipper was min. Mind. My slipper was mined. What does that mean? I had a. I had a ah! 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 Nah! Fuck you. Nah! Bitch. Nah! Nah! What is happening? Nah! What is this game? they cutting into my house? Who are these people? I'm leaving. Ah! Where the fuck? No. Why are they everywhere? Why are they everywhere? Why are they everywhere? Why are they everywhere? No. Bro. No. 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 Let me just restart. Climb the ladder? What ladder? I need to be a chat. I need to beat this game. I need to be able to. I need to be able to escape. Climb the ladder. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna go this way. We go through here. I'm in somebody else's house. Should I go? Ah! 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 Why are they always here? Why are they always here? Why are they always here? Stop. No! Oh my god! Can they climb? Fucking hell! Uh, what is with these old people attacking me and shit? My foot's mined. How do I? How do I not die? Jump! I.
I'm out. A lot of bear traps there. Kind of worried about that. What is this, a parkour game? Holy fuck. Human-sized bear traps. Oh my god, can I steal this car? It's literally a toilet with a fucking engine on it. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening right now? Am I, am I leaving? I think I'm escaping. I think I'm getting out of here. In... I, I don't even know where the engine is. This is a boat engine. Oh shit, this car is really fast. Chud, I think I got out of here. This is the SpongeBob boat? It is. The airport. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Alright, we're back on it. How do I leave? Game of the year? This should get game of the year. I'm getting fucking excited for this escape that's about to happen. You're going the wrong way? Why? Alright, hold up, I'll turn around. <laughs> hold up, give me a minute. Now, I was being attacked by random old people and a Russian woman that wanted to eat me. The military wants to kill- I swear to god, this is the- Oh no. Am I controlling this with a PS3 controller? <laughs> I'm driving the car with a PS3 controller. I'm gonna bust this right. I'm gonna go towards the airport. I feel like I need to get out of here by flying. Bro. Bro, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down! Slow down! We're losing control! Fuck! The drifting in this game is not good. Hand luggage up to .002. Oh my god, you literally can't control this car. You can't control this car. Fuck. Fuck. Dude. No. Okay, back to bed. Yo, where is the airport, though? I'm driving all the way the fuck around here in the toilet mobile. I feel like I should have chosen one of the other cars. This one just looked the best, so I picked it. Mario Kart type shit. Bro! This is the worst car ever. 100% quality for parts. Where's the airport? Am I infinite? You were supposed to go to the city. Dude, how do you know? How do you... How do you know where I'm supposed to go? I know damn well you haven't played this game. I'm at the airport. I'm about to fly the- I'm about to fly a fucking plane out of here. Which one? This one right here. This is it. This is my escape. I'm getting out of Gristovia. It's toilets. Why? Business class. Oh my god, what are the controls? What are the controls? Chat, how do I get out of here? Are any of these fucking drivable? You have to speed run it? Would you say those toilets are skibbity? Stop. Can I go in here? How do I fucking leave? How do I get out of this building? There's a lock. It's a speed run game? This is a speed run game? So I have to go to the checkpoint. Parking lot. What's in the parking lot? I have to go to the city. Chat, how do I... I feel like I should drive this. This just looks the most... Runnable. I'm flipping off. I'm flipping them off. I'm, I'm zooming now. Holy shit, this thing is fucking fast. Into the city. Slow down! There's no brakes! 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 No Hold up, I'm hitting the Yui. I'm hitting the Yui and we're busting the left to the city. Y'all are telling me to go to the city. Shit. 
shit. I'm good. Recap, why are there toilets in the plane? I don't know. Why am I driving a car with fucking massive wheels right now? The turning radius on this thing fucking sucks. What was that? I, I swear to God, I just saw a person. Fuck! Shit. Shit. We're good. This is my car. I own this vehicle. I'm in the city. Am I free? Am I free? Am I free? I think I'm free. I think I'm free. I think I'm free. How do I leave? How fast is this track? Fairly quick. And he's fucking, he's waving. He's having a good old time. You missed it? I missed what? I have to go left. The only way I haven't gone is left. This thing literally drifts. Oh my god, this this tractor is the best car. Wait, no, 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 no. I went left, right? I have to go straight. I have to go this way. I have to go the way I originally went. I really don't know how to get out of here, though. Straight to the airport. Straight is not to the airport. I didn't miss an area. Yo, I'm literally drifting. Nah, this is actually probably the way to escape. Yeah, right here. What is that? There's traffic. No problem for me. Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla Cybertruck? That's why y'all need tractors, buddy. Learn how to fucking drive. Oh shit. Oh shit. And I always land right side up. I'll be out of here in a fucking jiffy. You were supposed to turn? I don't need to turn for shit. I just need to make it to this fucking bridge. I'm actually zooming. Super VIP. And I ramp it. I ramp it. I ramp it. How do I leave? How do I leave? Oh my god. You had to turn right? Oh my god. No, I didn't. <coughs> you need to turn. Somebody's following you. You met. You missed a hole in the barrier earlier. No, I didn't. Chat, how do I get out of here? How do I fucking leave this area? Turn left. Y'all said turn left the airport way? I missed a gap. In Stepistan. Stepistan. There's a hole. Yeah, but it's still probably barrier. Just how I planned it. Just how I planned it. Just how I fucking planned it. That was all meant to happen. Landed. Save. Hit that drift. Hit that mean drift. Hit that fucking drift. Hit that fucking drift. Hit that fucking... What gap in the What gap in the trees is that this game's kind of shit? Oh really? Gap in the tree. You went too far. 
What? On the barrier. Right here. Bitch, what? Can I drive my car through there? Am I free? Am I free? Блять, да мне похуй на тебя, блять, слушай. Какая у тебя там тачка, блять, квартиры, срачки там. Блядь, блядь, ты все, мне похуй там, хоть Бентли, хоть, блядь, нахуй Майба, хоть Роллс Ройс, хоть Бугати, блядь, хоть сто метровая яхта, мне на это насрать, понимаешь? Сколько ты там кого ебешь, каких баб, каких, значит, вот этих самок шикарных или атласных, блядь, в космос ты летишь, мне на это насрать, понимаешь? Я, блядь, в своем познании настолько преисполнился, что я как будто бы уже 100 триллионов миллиардов лет, блядь, проживаю на триллионах и тли триллионах таких же планет, понимаешь, как эта Земля. Мне уже этот мир абсолютно понятен, и я здесь ищу только одного, блядь, покоя, умирания вот этой гармонии, бесконечным вечным, от созерцания этого великого фрактального подобия и, и от вот этого вот замечательного... Все единство существа бесконечно вечно. Куда ни посмотри, хоть в глубь бесконечно мало, right. хоть высь бесконечно большое, понимаешь? А ты мне опять со своими там это иди суетись дальше. Это твое распределение, это твой путь и твой горизонт познания, ощущения и твоей природы. Понимаешь? Но он, он несоизмеримо мелок по сравнению с моим, понимаешь? Я как будто бы уже глубокий старец бессмертный или там уже почти бессмертный, который на этой планете от ее самого зарождения, еще когда только солнце только-только вот после взрыва э, солнца, когда оно вспыхнуло, как Was звезда, начало формироваться вертикат планеты, понимаешь? Я на этой земле уже как будто почти 5 миллиардов лет, блядь, живу и ее знаю уже вдоль и поперек этот весь мир. А ты мне там какие-то эти... Мне похуй на твои тачки, на твои, блядь, нахуй яхты, на твои квартиры там, на, твой, на твое благо, понимаешь? Я был на этой планете, так сказать, или на... Бесконечно множество. И круче Цезаря, и круче Гитлера, блядь, и круче всех великих, понимаешь, был. А где-то был конченным говно еще хуже, чем здесь. Потому что я множество этих состояний чувствую. Где-то я был больше подобен растению, где-то больше подобен птице, там, червю, где-то просто был сгусток камня. Это все есть душа, понимаешь? Oh I see the она, end. Вот имеет грани подобия, I see the end. It's saying slurs in Russian, really? Но тебе этого не понять. Поэтому ты езжай себе, блядь. Мы в этом мире как бы живем на ра разными ощущениями, разными стремлениями. Соответственно, разное наше место, разное наше распределение. What is this? Тебе я желаю is this the wall? все самые крутые тачки, чтобы были у тебя. И все самые лучшие санки, чтобы раздвигали перед I'm тобой. Here. Ноги там, все свои щели на шиворот, на выворот, блядь. I'm gonna тобой, leave. Как ковер. Это самое. Раскрывали и рас расплевали, да? Расплали. Это их, чтобы ебал. До посинения, до красна, вон как солнце, как солнце закатного. Чтоб на лучших яхтах, на самолетах летал What и кончал прямо с иллюминатора. И все, что только можешь в голову прийти и не прийти. Если мало идей, обращайся ко мне. Я тебе на каждую твою идею. О, oh my God, I... That was the worst game I've ever played. That was the worst game I have ever played. It was very bad. It was a very bad game. What were the ratings on that game? Very positive. Who the fuck recommended me to play this? W game. You guys liked that game. Jib for the sub. Charlie for the thousand biddies. GT for the sub. Exotic for the sub. Graham for the three. Game of the year. I get my license a week. I'm going to be seeing there this year. I'll be going to Europe for a month, and somebody just gifted uh, me a sub. I'm so excited. Dude, dub. Random for the three. I was timed out, and I don't know why. I'm Sunday for the sub. Afghan, uh, eat for the sub. Tetris for the three. Did your manager respond about my beanie? I told you. Um, He said, are they sure they sent us the right address? Um, And th that's all he said. Like, not a human error of shipping. I'm assuming you sent it to the right address, so I'm going to say that. Lear, thank you for the 10 gifteds. Eat for the sub, Afghan for the sub. Uh, and Lear, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. Ryan for the five. Have you ever been to Michigan? If so, what are your thoughts? It's pretty chill. <laughs> I've never been there, though, so I don't know. Um, 
I don't have anything wrong with Michigan, though. Uh, but I've never been there. I've been to states near Michigan. I've never been to Michigan. Uh, I've been to Ohio, Kentucky. I think those are they're close. Uh, Kickstarter for the thousand dollars betties. My mom wouldn't let me get Twitch, so I've been watching you on YouTube for the longest time. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, Jackson for the three. Uh, I was waiting for the dummy in the back to turn around and fucking eat you. What, in the Skinwalker video? Lear, thank you for the 10 gifted Spicer for the three. Play more Terraria Assistant. Can't find the game. Search tab. I already know about that game. I might play it one day. Uh, and Lear, thank you for the 10 gifted. All right, chat. Yo, I heard we're getting one Fortnite game in. I'm getting a dub, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow for reacts. Then Monday's Minecraft, Tuesday's uh, Barn Finders and the Beginner's Guide. Wednesday's Scary Games, Thursday's going to be WWE, probably Wreckfest. So a bunch of new games this week. Friday Reacts, Saturday, probably going to be doing Booze Masters, maybe more Barn Finders. Sunday Reacts, Monday, more Minecraft. Bryce for the three. Somebody redeemed Dent? Bitch. All right, yo, chat. Lock in for this fucking win here. Bryce for the three. Play Mortuary Assistant and I'll give you more money. I'm not playing that today. Sorry. Ah! Somebody redeemed waste points. Thank you for wasting points. Uh, Brightshirt for the three. I might play it one day. I don't know for sure, but you giving me money will not entice me to play the game more uh, than any other game. I thought you were streaming at 5.30 p.m. When the fuck did I ever say that? That's I never stream at 5.30 on weekdays, I'll stream at 4.30. Tomorrow, I'm live at 2 because it's Sunday. Monday through Friday, I'm live at 4.30. Normally, I'm not live Tuesdays, but I'll be live this Tuesday because I was gone for a week. What camera do you use for streaming? Sony AIII or some shit. Random for the three. How do you get mod? You're usually recommended by mod for other mo uh, by other mods. Or for mod by other mods. Usually a VIP active chatter first. Just in general. Run predictions. Yeah, we're going to be playing one... One, maybe two, maybe five, maybe maybe 15 games here. I don't know. Definitely getting a win, though. What are you playing the finals? I don't know. I need a three-man for that, though. Damage to enemy players with pistols. I'll do that. Well, we'll just end it off with Fortnite chat. I know I play Fortnite every now and again already, but I wanted to be, uh, you know, playing a little staple game. Because uh, this week, we're going to be playing a lot of new games. The Beginner's Guide, Barn Finders, WWE. We're going to be playing a bunch of new shit, so I wanted to play uh, some, uh, you know, OG shit today, if that's fine. Are you playing Zero Build? Yeah. I only play Zero Build. I'll play Build Mode if I need to, but, like, who the fuck plays Build Mode? You use a $2,000 camera for streaming? Yeah, I use a pretty cheap camera comparable to other streamers. The biggest streamers are using, like, $20,000 cameras. I mean, like, yeah, if you're talking about Jinxie, he uses, like, a 1080p webcam. But that's also because he fucking breaks his setup every other week. Uh, and it also fits his vibe. Whereas, uh, yeah, and same with Queso. But, like, most streamers are using um, decently expensive cameras as they get bigger. Obviously, when I started, I used a webcam, and then I got a shitty camera, and then I got a better camera. Random for the three. I already read that. Bad balls for the thousand minis. You should try the finals. It's pretty good. I already have. But I will play it another day. Mike Sherpa said. What do you use, OBS or Streamlabs? I mean, it varies depending on stream. Uh, and sometimes one's down and the other one's up. Queso's camera quality is so bad. Yeah, but that's why people like him. If Queso got a high quality camera and a high quality mic, people would probably stop watching him. Not everybody. I'm not saying everybody would be like, oh, I'm not going to watch you anymore, but. You usually have to stick to what you're known for in the sense of like quality and shit. Like, people don't like when you uh, swap shit up. Like, when I, when I changed camera quality, people originally didn't like it. Or my mic. Like, when I got a better mic, people originally were like, what the fuck? Because uh, I used to have, like, a really shitty uh, blue snowball. That was the first mic I ever had. It was, like, an ear, like, an ear rape-esque fucking low-quality, just max gain. Stable Ronaldo's mic? Yeah, literally that. Well, that's like a headset mic. There's headset mic streamers, and then there's regular mic streamers. Where the fuck is this? Oh. Crash. 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 Learn how to play the game, you fucking loser. Buddy, I've been on the game. Buddy, I've been off the game for a fucking week here, pal. I've never been on the game in a fucking week here, pal. And you die to me using a goddamn auto shotgun when you have the fucking jump on me. 
You suck, actual horse cock. Hold up. I gotta lock in. I'm zoned. Shoot that down. I want the stuff. Yep, give me that. I'll take the fucking berries. I'll take the shield. No problem. Gracias. Another one. And they give me the fucking big pot. See, they just know... The game knows what I need, and they give it... The game knows what I need, and it gives it to me. And there's somebody up there. Oh my god, I fucking laser them. Oh my god, I fucking laser them. Oh my god, I fucking laser them, chat. I'm rushing. And it's all the way down there. Why the fuck is that not flat ground? Who the hell made this shitty-ass map? Why would anyone do this? Where are they? There's another car. Chat, where are they? Off the Zan stopped. Oh my god, and I hit the biggest fucking whip of my life on this fucking guy. Oh my god, he's in the fucking stupid snowman costume. Where is he? I hear somebody. I hear somebody reloading a fucking shotgun. Chat, this is it. Is that a person? Just birds. Oh, there's somebody. There's the person I was shooting earlier. I know you're not gonna kill me! If anybody kills me, it's gonna be Christmas tree! Fight me! Peek. They peek left. Oh my god, yo, I'm about to rush this guy. Actually being cringe as hell. Come here. I'm not dealing with this bullshit anymore. How do I get up there? <laughs> oh. Yo, nice shots there, man! Bang! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, fuck! How many bullets? How many bullets come in a fucking auto shotgun? Itachi for the sub mic sir for the sub random for the three. That's so fucking stupid. That is so fucking stupid. And they level me up anyway. See, they know I'm plat two capabilities. Yep, there it is. And there it is. And they level me up all the way. Ah, uh, never mind. One more. Surely one more. Surely one more. Can't end on a bad note like that. Uh, I just can't. Just finished GTA 5 right before your stream. Perfect timing. You just started playing GTA 5? My god, buddy's stuck in 20, 2013. Next, you're going to tell me you, uh... What's a movie that came out in 2013, chat? Next, you're going to tell me you watch Hunger Games for the first time. Huh. You know what blew my mind, though, is how long ago Hunger Games was released. When was the original Hunger Games release? I think it was, like, 2012. And I remember watching that movie. And I feel like I was older than I was. Hunger Games was 2012. I was 10 years old when that movie came out. And I remember watching it. And I, I vividly remember... I thought... Dude, I remember being, like, 14 when I watched Hunger Games. I thought I was in, like, late high school when Mockingbird came out. Or Mockingjay, whatever it is. But I wasn't even in... I think Mockingjay came out in, like, fucking 2014 or some shit. 2016. I was like a fucking, uh, eighth grader. Your face cam? What about my face cam? Oh, because I'm blocking the map? Yeah, well, I mean, it helps with stream snipers. And I'm only playing one more game, so... I'd move it over on any other day. 2012. What's the best movie series you guys have ever seen? I'm not gonna kill one of those bots. I was gonna say I'm gonna go land and fucking kill Peter. No, I'm going Pleasant. 
Maze Runner. Maze Runner was a trash movie series. That was a, actually a fucking terrible take. Maze Runner, I actually, I don't want to be that guy that says the book's better than the movie because I hate when people fucking say that because I don't like reading fiction novels. But I read all of the Maze Runner books and Maze Runner in the movies is nothing like the book and it's actually god awful. It's actually god awful. The movies are fucking terrible. Fast and Furious, no. Hunger Games is a good movie series. You know what's crazy is Toy Story has a 100% rating. Toy Story. Toy Story 1 and 2. And now, I would say Toy Story is a good fucking movie in my lifetime. But I don't see how Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 have a 100% rating. That means critics thought that movie was perfect. There was nothing wrong with Toy Story. And yeah, I would say I don't know how you would make that movie better. But if you ask me rate Toy Story on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say like a 7. Like, what's like a 10 out of 10 movie for y'all? The Thing, which we were already talking about earlier. I mean, there's like 10 out of 10 movies. But I would never say Toy Story is one of them. If I'm going animated movie, I feel like... That's a good animated movie, bro. I couldn't fucking tell you. Oh, shit. Yo, they hooked me up with that fucking thing. Hold up. Watch and keep that. I'm going down. Isn't this a bad idea to go down here? Okay, never mind. Where am I? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? I thought that took you into the sewer. It literally just took me to another part of the fucking city. And I don't know what part of the city I'm on. Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, when is that new one coming out? Oh, there they are. Holding this shit like it's fucking Call of Duty. Where are they at? Bitch! 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 Hold up. Nah, I can't be- I can't- No, no, they can't have the high ground. They can't have the high ground. They cannot have the high ground. You're out! Oh my god, you're fucking terrible, and I'm big shielding. Oh. Reload! 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 You're it! Nobody rush me. Perfect. Wait, does medkit not heal 100% now? Since when? Since when has that been a fucking thing? Oh, I stopped early. I thought it just didn't heal 100% anymore. I'm gonna grab those flingers. Yo, the fact that neither of those kids killed me, especially the second guy, painful. Painful for him. Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I probably could have just jumped through that window, but I don't care. Oh, I want to keep the minis. Alright, we're set now. We're fucking stacked, and I'm on the move. What rank do you think you should be in? I don't know, probably this. I don't think I'm that cracked at Fortnite. Like, a chat, what would you rate my Fortnite skills out of 10? Probably like a fucking 6 or a 7. I would say an average. If an average is a 5, I would say I'm like a 6. Like, I would say I'm slightly above average. Like, the average Fortnite player sucks. What's the average Fortnite rank? I mean, that really is what determines it. Because I don't know. Like, I remember back when I used to play Val, I was above average in Val. Because, like, they had average rank, like, statistics. I don't know if they released that shit in um, in Fortnite. I know for like Val and CS:GO and those games, they'll like they'll tell you what amount of players are in what rank and shit like that. I don't know if they say that here. What the fuck is down here? Are they dangerous? Is he nice? Prop disguise. Yeah. 
What is this room? Why have I never been here? This shit is OP as fuck. They're just giving me like fucking insane weapons. And now I'm a barrel. Do you think it's easy for people to tell that I'm fake? Probably. Why would you not pick up a shotgun? I don't want a shotgun. Unless it's that that big ass burst one that just fucking shreds people. How the hell do I leave this area? They're gonna know I'm a barrel. Like if I'm just sitting here like this, like I'm obviously not. I'm moving. Like they can tell that I'm not that I'm a barrel. And now I'm not a barrel anymore. That's stupid as shit. The distract the the prop disguise though is pretty cool. Oh, if you press control, you just stop moving. Well, I'd rather fight people than hide. You can lock it in place. Dude, that's nuts. You can play hide and seek in Fortnite. Like in that Call of Duty game mode. Damn, COD really has no redeeming aspects anymore. Who here still plays Call of Duty? Like the new one. Oh, shit. This is an SMG? I thought this was an AR. <laughs> I thought this was an AR. What the fuck? This is an SMG. And now I have a four, I have a Stormcaster. How do I use this? Oh. So now I just know where the fucking storm is. SMG's good instead of an AR sometimes. I mean, it's doing well for me. I was wondering why I had so much fucking ammo. It looks like an- it literally looks like an AR. Oh, fuck! Bro. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Thursday WWE and some other shit. But yeah, catch all that. Hope you all had fun watching. We're going to raid 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See y'all later.